Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. People are sailing. Invited to go to sea by Sister Joe. Chapter 1. Inside the Eastian Gym in East Blue Shimotsky Village. Drink. Drink. With a shout. I saw a group of apprentices trying their best to wave the bamboo swords in their hands. At this time, Koshiro, who was sitting in the gymnasium, looked at the figure who was still in a daze among the disciples. Seeing this, Koshiro frowned and said, Genichi, pay attention. If you encounter the enemy in the future, deserting in battle can be fatal. Hear Koshiro's words. The boy named Genichi also hurriedly came back to his senses, and continued to wave the bamboo sword in his hand. Koshiro nodded slightly when he saw this, but his attention was still on Genichi. But the other disciples in the gym looked at Genichi enviously. Since Genichi came to the Ishin gym, apart from the senior brother Zoro who had left, it was the first time that they saw Master Koshiro paying so much attention to a person. You know, even the senior brother Zoro didn't let the master pay so much attention. As the focus, Genichi couldn't help showing a helpless smile on his face. I was planning to chase one piece at home. As a result, before I had time to look at it, I traveled to the world of One Piece. Because he hadn't had time to read the story of One Piece at all, Genichi who came here had his eyes darkened and didn't know what to do. As an ordinary person, come to this world full of pirates. I'm afraid that if it wasn't the first day, he would be treated like a leak. Ding. Proficiency template system to activate. Bind host Genichi. Please sign for the novice gift package. Hear the voice in your head. Genichi couldn't help but shine. Haven't seen pigs run, haven't you eaten pork? As a standard equipment for time travelers, cheap Genichi is naturally very familiar. At the very least, I can have the power to protect myself. So I immediately replied, sign for it. Ding. Extracting templates. Ding. Congratulations on getting Hawkeye Dracul Mahawk template. Ding. The current template proficiency is 10%. Continuous exercise can increase the template proficiency. The higher the proficiency, the stronger the strength. The next template is unlocked when the proficiency of this template reaches 80%. Hawkeye Mahawk. What is this? Listening to the drawn template echoing in his mind, Genichi couldn't help being taken aback. I haven't seen one piece at all. Who is this Hawkeye? Fortunately, the 10% proficiency of the Hawkeye template allows Genichi to roughly understand the power system of this world. And with Hawkeye's 10% template, although I don't know how strong it is now, at least self-protection is no problem. After getting acquainted with his own cheat, Genichi also came to the island he traveled through. Although I don't know why the language can communicate smoothly. But now Genichi can't control that much. After some understanding, Genichi also knew where he was. With the help of the residents on the island all the way, Genichi came to the Ishin Gymnasium where Koshiro was located, and successfully entered and stayed there. Originally, after Zoro left, Koshiro no longer had such a big heart to teach his apprentices. But the first time I saw Genichi, Koshiro became excited. In Koshiro's eyes, Genichi in front of him was born for the sword. With the eagle-eyed template, Genichi's kendo talent is naturally top-notch. So after Genichi explained his intention, Koshiro accepted Genichi without hesitation. After all, Zoro is following the three-sword style, and it is more of Zoro's own thinking. With Genichi added, Koshiro began to actively train Genichi every day. It has been half a year since I came to this world. As Genichi keeps waving the bamboo sword in his hand. The sharp sound of piercing through the air keeps coming out. At this time, Genichi only has the bamboo sword in his hand. Looking at Genichi who is getting sharper in front of him. Koshiro nodded in satisfaction. Such a talent is really enviable. Single quote. Amazing. Brother Genichi has only been here for half a year. It's such a failure to be surpassed by my junior brother. At this time, all the disciples around were also attracted by the movement made by Genichi. Obviously it's nothing more than an ordinary sword swing. But the bamboo sword that Genichi swung made everyone feel unstoppable. 19,997. 19,998. 19,999. 20,000. As Genichi swung his knife for the 20,000th time. The familiar beep sounded again in my mind. Ding. Today's proficiency task has been swung 20,000 times. 
Ding. Reward proficiency 0.1%. Ding. Current Hawkeye template proficiency, 15%. Just when the template reaches 15%. Genichi's eyes burst out with a flash of light. The hands holding the bamboo sword swung forward violently. In the astonished eyes of everyone, a flying slash flew forward in an instant. Boom. With a bang. The courtyard wall in front of the training ground was instantly divided into two. Gee. What is this? Is that a lie? Slash. Genichi has reached the level of swordsman. Watching Genichi slashing. At this time, all the apprentices in the gymnasium looked at Genichi in disbelief. Even they themselves didn't know that they had just subconsciously removed the word junior. And Koshiro on the side also said slowly with a smile on his face. Not yet, but it's almost there. I'm afraid it won't be long before Genichi can enter the Sword King realm. It's amazing, Genichi. Regarding Koshiro's comments, Genichi also grinned. Teacher, I'm afraid it will take actual combat. Here Genichi. Koshiro was not surprised. After all, besides daily practice, fighting is the fastest way to improve one's strength. Koshiro couldn't help laughing at this. Then Genichi, get ready. Starting tomorrow, the real training will begin. With Koshiro's reply, Genichi naturally also enjoys it. After all, in this world where the weak eat the strong, the stronger the strength, the better. At this time, the other apprentices in the Ishin gym were still silent about the slash Genichi had just swung. I didn't expect that Genichi, who came last, would improve his strength so quickly. How did you do it, Genichi? This is too strong. Do you have a secret? That's right, teach us. After a moment of silence, especially after seeing Koshiro say that Genichi is about to become a swordsman. This is also strong enough to make these brothers worship. For a while, everyone surrounded Genichi. In this regard, Genichi is also very happy to give pointers to all the brothers one by one. Seeing this harmonious scene in the gym, Koshiro became more and more satisfied with Genichi. Received such an apprentice in the end, even Koshiro did not expect it. Kuina, Zoro boy needs a strong opponent on his way. See Circle Calendar 1517. Two years have passed since Genichi came to the world of One Piece. Inside the Ishin gym in East Blue Shimotsuki village. Ding. Master, don't show mercy. I saw two figures constantly colliding with each other in the training ground. The entire training ground is filled with flashes of swords and swords. Genichi that has passed two years. Under the daily training, Hawkeye's template progress is even more advanced by leaps and bounds. Today it has reached the point of 36%. And it is Koshiro who has the most say in Genichi's progress. From being able to deal with it calmly at the very beginning, Koshiro is even more serious when facing the aggressive Genichi now. Then you have to be careful Genichi. As Koshiro spoke slowly, the saber in his hand instantly knocked Genichi out forcefully. Um. At this moment, Koshiro suddenly became very calm. The saber in his hand was retracted into its sheath at this time. One sword style I I. Voice still. Suddenly, Koshiro appeared behind Genichi. But the saber in his hand is in the state of withdrawing the sword again at this moment. The lion sings. Ding. With a crisp beeping sound. The saber in Genichi's hand broke from the middle. Looking at the broken sword in my hand. Genichi couldn't help looking at Koshiro helplessly. Teacher, you're cheating. It's time to change the knife again. Facing Genichi complaints. Koshiro just chuckled and said, Genichi, real battles don't end with your weapons. But you kid, I'm afraid you have already learned this trick. Genichi also just smiled at Koshiro's question. After all, with Hawkeye's top talent, how could he fail to learn it in two years? With the end of the training of the two, a group of disciples also began to clean up the messy training field. As Koshiro and Genichi sat down to rest, a familiar voice came into Genichi's ears. Before the people arrive, the voice arrives first. In this voice, Genichi couldn't be more familiar with it. Just as Genichi looked in the direction of the sound, a beautiful figure appeared at the gate of the Ishin Gymnasium. It was Miss Jo, a popular anchor in her previous life. Sister Jo, nicknamed Dumb Bride, leftover mother of Paris, Zhu Chongzi, you can question Sister Jo's voice, but you can never question Sister Jo's appearance. But why did Miss Jo appear here? 
At this moment, Genichi froze in place. Koshiro on the side looked at Genichi with a smile on his face and looked at Sister Joe at the door. Ah, it's Genichi's acquaintance. At the moment, Sister Joe is standing at the entrance of the Ishin gym, holding her mobile phone and screaming, Brothers, I am really stupid. I said that you still don't believe me after crossing. Is this the Ishin gym you mentioned? I'm so off. Take a good look. You still don't believe me. After all, Sister Joe kept taking pictures of the Ishin gymnasium with her mobile phone. But at this time, the water friends in the live broadcast room still didn't believe it. No matter how Sister Joe cursed, the barrage still booed and said she didn't believe it. Ms. Joe is also very helpless about this. To be honest, who would believe this kind of thing? But when it really happened to me, I would know how outrageous this kind of thing is. And Sister Joe brought it to the system, which is the live broadcast system. Relying on live broadcasts to obtain shock points, and shock points can be exchanged for things that improve strength. This comforted Sister Joe somewhat. After all, this is the world of one piece, if you want to survive, you need some strength in your body. And the system tells her that if she wants to return to the real world, she must reach Raftal, the end of the One Piece world. Naturally, all the water friends can see the final task in the live broadcast room. Good guy, there is still a task. Single quote. PFF ha ha ha, Sister Joe wants to be the Pirate King. Single quote. Hell level difficulty, you must go to see if you want to get to Raftal. Single quote. Sister Joe is a flower player, but she still wants to go to sea. Single quote. Since we are going to sea, Miss Joe, go to the Ishin gym to recruit Zoro, dog head. For a while, the whole live broadcast room booed. Seeing the barrage that was almost swiping the screen, Sister Joe had no choice but to bite the bullet and enter the Ishin gym. Hello, lady, what are you doing at the Ishin gym? Ah, me, me, I'm here to recruit the crew. Facing the colleges who came to inquire. Sister Joe also went all out, and directly stated her purpose. Hearing this sentence, the apprentice standing at the door froze for a moment. But quickly reacted. Just when he was about to find Koshiro, Koshiro, who had noticed Jojia early on, brought Genichi to the door. Watching Koshiro appearing in front of him and Genichi beside him. Sister Joe felt like her heart was going to jump into her throat. At this time, the live broadcast room exploded directly. This is Koshiro, right? Single quote. No way, no way, Sister Joe won't really time travel, right? Single quote. Also, who is this handsome guy next to Koshiro? What about my family? Single quote. That's right, why not Suo Da? Single quote. As for Koshiro and Genichi at this time. Looking at Miss Joe in front of him, Koshiro couldn't connect the little girl in front of him with the pirate. And Genichi is an expert. Good guy. Sister Joe actually wants to go directly to sea to become a pirate. What's going on? At this moment, Sister Joe also noticed the barrage in the live broadcast room, facing Koshiro and Genichi hurriedly and embarrassedly said, Whoa, I want to recruit your disciple Zoro to go to sea together. That's why I came here to visit. Facing Miss Joe's problem. At this time, Koshiro couldn't help showing a strange look on his face. The little girl in front of her should know her disciple Genichi, so how can she go to sea with Zoro? But doubts are doubts, Koshiro still said slowly. Disciple Zoro has been out at sea for two years, and he is not in the gym now. Hear Koshiro's words. Before waiting for Sister Joe to react. At this time, the live broadcast room was full of cynicism. Cut. Liar liar. Single quote. He also lied to us to travel through time, and found someone who looks like Koshiro to play, but he couldn't find Zoro. It's boring, it's boring, I can't see Suo Da. Single quote. If you say that, isn't Suo Da already a bounty hunter? Single quote. Sister Joe is really serious, if you want to make a show, give us a spoiler, what kind of new show is this? Single quote. Looking at the barrage in the live broadcast room, Sister Joe couldn't help frowning. Sister Joe, who has watched One Piece, naturally wants to meet Suo Da. But now it is estimated that Zoro has gone to be a bounty hunter and can't find his way back to Shimotsuki village. Thinking that I didn't recruit a partner to go to sea and die in the sea. Sister Joe couldn't help but look tangled. At this time, Koshiro suddenly looked at Genichi beside him. 
That playful look filled Genichi's face with confusion. Just when everyone fell silent, Koshiro suddenly spoke again. Zoro is not here, but you can invite my other disciple to go to see. I think Genichi should be very happy. What? Master, what are you doing? Hearing that Koshiro sold himself out of the blue. Genichi looks hurriedly at Koshiro. Facing Genichi's questioning. Koshiro didn't say anything, but kept looking at Genichi and Sister Joe. A moment later, a smile appeared on the serious Koshiro's face. As for this smile, it's like your good brother saw something that shouldn't be seen. The two of you looked at each other and gave you a smile that you understand. Facing Koshiro's smile, Genichi couldn't help but look black. At this time, Sister Joe had a look of joy. Good guy, there is another village in the shadows. And this apprentice is so handsome, going out to sea together will definitely be eye-catching every day. Is it really possible? Then I'm not impolite, Genichi, let's go to sea together. She looked at Sister Joe who extended the invitation with excitement. Genichi couldn't help but look towards Koshiro who was beside him. Seeing this, the latter acted as if it had nothing to do with him and ignored it. While Genichi was considering, suddenly a reminder sounded in my mind. Ding. Mission released. Ding. Accept Sister Joe's invitation to go to sea. Ding. Bonus Hawkeye template 5%. Hear the beep in your head. Genichi didn't hesitate anymore, and then nodded. With Genichi's consent, Sister Joe was even more happy. At least, as Koshiro's disciple. East Blue shouldn't be too much of a threat. At this time, Genichi also successfully completed the task. Host. Genichi. Template. Hawkeye Mahawk. Proficiency. 41%. Strength. At the time of attacking the world's number one swordsman after watching the execution of One Piece Luo Jia just now. Feel the change in your own strength. Koshiro on the side is even more astonished. Because just now, Koshiro suddenly found that his disciple had become stronger again. It seems that letting you go to sea is the right decision. Then, take a good rest today, and go to sea tomorrow. After saying that, Koshiro left the front yard, not knowing what to prepare. Genichi and Sister Joe were left alone. Looking at the excited Joe's sister, Genichi took her to the guest room of the gymnasium. After all, you have to stay today, and you can go to see tomorrow. But after making arrangements for Sister Joe, Genichi couldn't help looking at Sister Joe suspiciously. By the way, do you have a boat to go to see tomorrow? Also, you look very unreliable. Sister Joe, who was planning to have a good conversation with Genichi, couldn't help being shocked when she heard this sentence. And at this moment in the live broadcast room, there are even more bullet screens flying up. Ha 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 ha, look at the suspicious eyes of my little brother. I'm laughing so hard, I only have a mobile phone all over my body. Start with a mobile phone, fooling partners and boats. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it turns out that Miss Joe is the pirate king. Single quote. Sister Joe who noticed the barrage also blushed. Facing Genichi's question, he hesitated for a while and didn't know what to say. Seeing this, Genichi also looked helpless. Now I can only take one step at a time. After arranging Miss Joe, Genichi came to Koshiro's room. Just before Genichi came into the room, Koshiro's voice came from the room. Come in Genichi. Enter the room with Genichi. I saw a package was ready in front of Koshiro at this time. And there is a knife in the room. Teacher, this is. Ha 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 ha, tomorrow my disciple will go to sea. As a teacher, it is natural to prepare some things for your disciples to go to sea. This Guanxi Jungzong will be your saber in the future, pick it up and try it. With permission from Koshiro. Genichi is not hesitating. He conveniently picked up Guanxi Jungzong in front of him. As Genichi pulled out Guanxi Masamune, he saw that the blade of the blade was in the shape of a chaotic blade, and the body of the blade was icy blue with bursts of cold light, all of which showed the extraordinary ness of this sword. Master. This knife. Ha ha ha, it was brought out from Wanokuni by Master and the words of Hidaoyi at the beginning. Now it's up to you to make it resound across the sea. For Genichi, an apprentice, Koshiro can be said to have taught him everything. After getting along for two years, Koshiro became more and more satisfied with this apprentice. Therefore, this Guanxi Jungzong was also taken out by Koshiro for the final graduation ceremony. 
Genichi, you need to explore the road ahead. But you have to always remember one thing. The strongest swordsmanship is not just going forward, if you can cut everything you want to cut, or when you don't want to cut, you can't even cut paper. At that time, your swordsmanship will be considered to have reached its true peak. I saw Koshiro speak slowly. Without waiting for Genichi to say anything else, he got up with a smile and went into the bedroom to rest. While Genichi held Kan's Masamune in his hand and fell into deep thought. As for the sister Joe in the guest room on the other side, she has completely broken her defense at this moment. You, I have already said that I have really timed time. Why don't you believe me? How do I prove that you can believe it? There is still booing in the live broadcast room at this time. The bullet screens played out disbelief one after another, directly breaking Sister Joe's defense. But at this time, everyone in the live broadcast room was also very happy. Everyone just treats all this as a show effect. One after another happily swiping the barrage. If you say time travel, you time travel. Single quote. That's right, even Zoro didn't see it, he didn't know where he found a gym in his childhood and came to lie to us. Single quote. Sister Joe, you liar. Single quote. What's so good about the little days, come back and live broadcast honestly. Single quote. Watching the barrage in the live broadcast room. Sister Joe burst into tears instantly. Wow, you dogs, woo woo woo, you think I don't want to go home. I can't go back, I told you I've time traveled. I'll show you a little cutie. Just when Sister Joe was crying bitterly. One rocket after another is launched into the sky in Joe Gia's live broadcast room. Hey hey, thank you brother Miaozi for the rocket. Thanks everyone for the rockets. I saw Sister Joe reappearing the classic face changing. The live broadcast room is also completely lively. Good guy, the leftover mother of Paris becomes the leftover mother of pirates in seconds. Reproduce the classic face changing. Single quote. Little fresh meat, come and learn. This is called professional. Single quote. Look, this is called professional. Single quote. Ha 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 ha. Change face change face. Single quote. At this time, in Sister Joe's mind. Shock value plus one. Shock value plus one. After recreating the classic face changing, some water friends who just watched the video were shocked. With the shock value in the account, Sister Joe also shines. Because there is a novice gift package at the moment of unlocking the shock value. As for the contents inside, at least I don't have to worry about going to see tomorrow. Ha 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 ha, brothers, we have to go to see tomorrow. Sleep. As soon as Sister Joe's voice fell, the live broadcast room went dark. Downstreaming at the speed of light makes the water friends in the live broadcast room unable to react. For a while, the entire live broadcast room began to denounce Sister Joe. At this moment, Sister Joe has already fallen into a deep sleep regardless. Ha 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 ha, brothers. Ready to go to sea. We must set sail today. I saw that early in the morning, Sister Joe's broken voice began to call out. And all the water friends in the live broadcast room have been waiting for a long time. The moment I turned on the live broadcast, I turned off the sound. Am I doing it right? Single quote. Don't open your mouth. Single quote. Sister Joe, you'd better be a dumb bride. Single quote. That's right, screaming, watch out for the crew you recruited and ran away. Single quote. Looking at the barrage in the live broadcast room. Sister Joe was also so frightened that she hurriedly closed her mouth. At this time, Genichi has already packed the package and came to the guest room. It's time to go. Hearing Genichi's shout, Sister Joe hurriedly packed up and walked out of the room. Looking at the handsome guy in front of her, Sister Joe's eyes were bent into crescents. Only Sister Joe said softly, let's go, let's go. Facing the smiling Sister Joe, she looks pretty, but Genichi shivered unconsciously. And in the live broadcast room, the barrage is frantically swiping the screen. Good guy, I'm direct good guy. Single quote. You lied to us about time travel, and the result was a trip to sea with a handsome guy. Single quote. Come on, my knife is here. Single quote. Zuzuzu, when has Miss Joe been so gentle? Single quote. Fake. All fake. Oh my dumb bride. Single quote. For a while, the entire live broadcast room was full of wailing. 
At this time, Sister Joe didn't bother to pay attention to the group of guys in the live broadcast room. Seeing the tall and handsome Genichi walking in front, Sister Joe hurriedly followed. The two walked towards the sea together. Just after the two left. In front of the Ishin Gymnasium. Kuina, this sea is getting more and more exciting. Pity. Looking at the two Genichis who left, Koshiro stopped and watched for a long time before returning to the gym alone. As for the road ahead, it was his disciples who walked it themselves. But Sister Joe, who was walking on the road, kept her eyes on Genichi who was on the sidelines. But in the live broadcast room, Genichi noticed the saber on his waist. Hey, this disciple of Koshiro is carrying a sword. Single quote. Really, it looks very simple. Single quote. What, Koshiro's disciples are all fake. Single quote. That's right, maybe there's some kind of plastic toy inside. Just when there are different opinions in the live broadcast room. Genichi duo have come to the seaside of Shimotsuki village. Looking at the endless blue sky and sea in front of her, even Sister Joe, who had seen the sea before, was stunned. Hey, this scenery is really nice. Single quote. Is the sea so beautiful in my childhood? Single quote. It's strange, it doesn't look like the sea over there. It's true, I haven't seen it in my childhood for so many years. Single quote. Facing such a beautiful scenery. Genichi looked at Sister Joe with a faint gaze. There is no sign of a ship on this empty shore. I said, how do you want to go to sea? Where's your ship? Hearing what Genichi said, Miss Joe suddenly smiled mysteriously. Immediately. Under the watchful eyes of Genichi and all the water friends in the live broadcast room. Sister Joe suddenly pointed like the surface of the sea. A small sailboat appeared out of nowhere on the coast. What is this? When did Miss Joe learn magic tricks? Single quote. Large scene magic. Single quote. The moment the sailing boat appeared, countless troughs filled the entire live broadcast room. Looking at the smug Joe sister. Genichi looked unusually calm. In Genichi's view, there must be some kind of system to be able to contact the original world live. It's a mere cheat, not half as good as my template. Seeing Genichi get on the boat with the package without saying a word. Sister Joe said with an aggrieved face, hey, hey, give me some feedback. Shouldn't you be a little surprised that a ship suddenly appeared? Facing Sister Joe who wanted to be praised at the moment. Genichi pondered for a moment and then slowly said, well, it's good to have a boat. Hear Genichi's answer. At this time, Sister Joe's face collapsed. Watching Genichi go straight into the boat. Sister Joe went crazy instantly. Ah. What does it mean to have a boat? It's great. In the live broadcast room, looking at Miss Joe, who had broken the defense, the barrage flashed quickly. Well, it's good to break the defense. Single quote. Well, it's crazy, it's good. Single quote. Well, magic tricks, that's good. Single quote. Seeing a group of dogs in the live broadcast room follow suit. Sister Joe immediately walked onto the boat with a black face. Fortunately, the sailboat sent by the system has a lot of space, and it is enough for two people to sail. And very kindly sent a lot of supplies. Follow Sister Joe to the boat. Genichi also no longer hesitated and set sail directly. As for Sister Joe, she kept observing the sailboat under her feet with a curious face. Just when the two had just left the shore and reached the sea. Under the vast sea, a huge black shadow instantly hit the sailboat of the two from a distance. Um, Genichi, who was still doing knife meditation, couldn't help frowning. Today the Hawkeye template has reached 41%, and Armament Hockey and Observation Hockey have mastered it. Naturally, the movement of the seabed cannot be hidden from Genichi. At this time, Sister Joe was still standing on the deck overlooking the sea and chatting with water friends. Unaware of the danger. Brothers, it's too difficult for me, I recruited an ice cube. What should I do? How can I live this life at sea, woo 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 woo? Looking at the crying and wronged Sister Joe. In the live broadcast room, the flowers were happy. Sister Joe is a liar, she is cursing on her mouth, but she is smiling in her heart. Such a handsome guy, such a cool and cold male god. Single quote. Tell me where you are, don't give us up. Single quote. Look, the handsome guy is out. Single quote. Just when Sister Joe was immersed in live bickering. Didn't even notice when Genichi was standing on the deck. 
and the sailboat was also shrouded in a terrifying shadow. The originally calm sea suddenly fluctuated strangely. What's the situation? Genichi, is there a storm coming? Looking at the suddenly turbulent sea, Sister Jo looked at Genichi next to her with a dazed expression. Even the studio was quiet. At this moment, Genichi looked towards the sea in front of him. Just when Sister Jo was wondering, I saw a huge water bag suddenly bulging on the surface of the sea. As if something is about to drill out. What? Mom, I'm going to die. Woo or. See this weird scene. Sister Jo shrank behind Genichi in fright. And in the live broadcast room, there was a burst of barrage. Roar. When everyone is holding their breath. A sea beast with scarlet eyes suddenly appeared on the surface of the sea. The huge body made Sister Jo stay in place for an instant. The novice sailing boat sent by the live broadcast room was not enough for even one bite of this sea beast. King of the Near Sea. Single quote. Sister Jo really traveled to the world of One Piece. Single quote. Oh my god, it's over, it's over, Sister Jo is going to die. Single quote. This thing is the existence of redheads who would lose an arm. Come to Miss Joe's live broadcast room. Sister Jo has really traveled to the world of One Piece. Single quote. Come and see, Sister Jo will kill the king of the near sea immediately. Single quote. The redheads don't give face when they come. Single quote. I saw the moment when the king of the sea appeared. Sister Joe's live broadcast room exploded. It was at this moment that everyone completely believed that Sister Joe had really traveled to the world of One Piece. All of a sudden everyone rushed to tell each other. Everyone's live broadcast room is reposted crazily. Looking at the barrage in the live broadcast room. All the anchors also rushed into Sister Joe's live broadcast room with doubts. Teacher Ma, I'll go, what the hell are you doing? This is too much. PDD. Oh, Sister Joe, you play a stick hammer, this is probably the beginning of the sky. Dai Xiao Mei, Wu, good sister, don't die. Seeing that Sister Joe's small sailboat is about to be swallowed by the king of the sea in front of her. In the live broadcast room, I was also anxious. Who would have thought that it was a joke, but it turned out to be real. Just when everyone thought that Sister Joe was dead. Genichi, standing in front of Sister Joe, suddenly and slowly pulled out the Guanxi Masamune from his waist. Don't be afraid. Stand back. The shivering Sister Joe who was still scared. Genichi's calm voice suddenly came to my ears. At this moment, Sister Joe calmed down instantly as if wrapped in a warm sun. Looking at Genichi who has drawn his sword. Sister Joe was also afraid that she would get in the way, so she hurriedly stepped back to the cabin door and looked at Genichi with a worried expression on her face. I just remembered, Sister Joe kidnapped a disciple of Koshiro. Single quote. This king of the sea should be fine, right? Single quote. At any rate, he is Suo Da's younger brother, so he should have some skills. Single quote. And look at his knife. So cool. Single quote. It must be a famous knife. Koshiro has a lot of stock. Single quote. I don't know who mentioned it in the live broadcast. Everyone turned their attention to the Kanchi Masamune in the hands of Genichi. I saw bursts of cold light on the ice blue blade, and its stunning appearance instantly attracted everyone's attention. Looking at this knife, there is only one thought in everyone's mind. That is, this knife is definitely a famous knife. Roar. Not waiting for people to observe carefully. With a roar. The king of the sea, who has been observing the two of Genichi for a long time, can't wait to swallow the two of them. The reason for waiting is to observe whether these two humans are in danger. In the eyes of the king of the sea, apart from holding the authentic Genichi of Guanxi, the sister Zhou on the side is just a snack. As for Genichi, it's just dim sum that might pierce your mouth, but it's still dim sum. I saw Shinhong, the king of the sea, fixed his eyes on Genichi at the bow of the ship. The huge body rushed towards the sailboat in an instant. A bloody mouth seemed to swallow the sailboat in one gulp. Holy crap, is this the Sea King's? Single quote. This is too scary. Single quote. Even through the screen, I feel full of oppression. Single quote. I don't know if the swordsman recruited by Sister Joe can resist it. Single quote. Look at the King of the Sea attacking in the screen. That terrifying body shocked the water friends in the live broadcast room. Not to mention Sister Joe at this time. This is too scary. 
Genichi. Facing this scene, Sister Jo collapsed to the ground. At this time, Genichi standing on the bow didn't respond at all. Just at the bloody mouth of the King of the Sea, the sailboat is getting closer and closer. Genichi standing on the bow suddenly moved. What a noisy fellow. I saw Genichi frown slightly and complained. Guanxi Masamune in his hand swung out violently. An icy blue slash instantly soared into the sky. PFF. Disappearing in the sky with the icy blue slash. The huge body of the king of the near sea was cut in half from the middle and hit the sea heavily. The huge body made the sea fluctuate for a while. Fortunately, the quality of sailboats given by the system is not bad. Look at the dead king of the sea. At this time, Sister Joe was completely stunned. Looking dully at Genichi who is slowly retracting the knife. At this time, the live broadcast room fell into a dead silence. After a moment of silence. What the hell? Single quote. Did you see it? Slash. Single quote. What kind of luck is Miss Joe? Did you get an SSR in the lottery? Single quote. This Genichi is Zoro's junior. Single quote. The Zoro of this period is not so fierce, is it? Single quote. Outrageous. Single quote. After watching Genichi kill King of the Sea with one blow. The barrage in the live broadcast room is even more flying. Now the crisis is over. Everyone started spreading the word like crazy. Duniang, Tieva, and hot searches all began to fall. Shocked. Sister Joe has traveled to the world of pirates. There are pictures and the truth. Sister Joe killed the king of the sea. Koshiro also taught new disciples. Countless sea fans started to discuss frantically. This is time travel, and it has also time travel to the world of pirates, killing the king of the sea as soon as it comes up, it is simply not too shocking. And about Genichi's identity, sea fans are even more frantically discussing. Even Shuisha, which published One Piece, was censored by Crazy Eight. Come out and explain who this Genichi is. This period is also ridiculously strong. Is this Genichi's weapon a famous sword? It's a cool bunch. At this moment in Shuisha. One by one, the high-level executives rushed from home in a hurry. After such a big incident, they didn't dare to delay at home. After everyone is seated, the people gathered the news received. This look stunned everyone. Good guy, there is an anchor who traveled to the world of One Piece. Simply out of the world. But now I can't care so much. The most important thing is that now Oda is about to collapse the pirates, which is enough to make the popularity of One Piece soar. Maybe the story behind it can be reflected directly from the live broadcast. Hurry up, contact Toei and Fuji Radio, and we must win the broadcasting rights of this anchor. This time we can make a lot of money again. Think of the benefits that follow. The entire Shuisha executives are happy. It's a great thing. Also, Hurry up and call Oda Sensei, and ask him to come over and have a look. Clear. Just when all the top executives of Shuisha began to take action. All the sea fans in the real world are all pouring into Sister Joe's live broadcast room at this moment. Looking at the still fresh corpse of the King of the Sea in the screen, all the fans of the sea called it awesome. This is outrageous. The previous water friends were still silent in the knife that Genichi swung. That terrifying slash straight into the sky was so powerful that it exploded. After finishing everything, Genichi glanced at Miss Joe, who was still in a daze, and sat beside her with her sword in her arms. Only then did Sister Joe react. Goo. Genichi, you are too strong. This strength made Miss Joe couldn't help but praise again and again. Seeing that Genichi is so powerful, your own safety can definitely be greatly guaranteed. Thinking of this, Sister Joe felt even more elated. Just when Sister Joe smiled and glanced at the live broadcast room. The terrifying number of viewers made Sister Joe stunned for a moment. 500 million people. This staff member, please get out of the way. Single quote. That's right, let's get out of the way and let's see Brother John now. Single quote. To be able to slash so easily, he must be a swordsman. Single quote. Sister Joe's luck is really good, she actually got an SSR. In the live broadcast room, I saw Sister Joe with a surprised face. Instantly crazily spit on the barrage. Looking at the disgusting barrage in the live broadcast room. Sister Joe suddenly lost her temper. Good guy, this is my mother's live broadcast room. 
but the hand still obediently pointed the phone at Genichi beside him. With Genichi appearing in the live room. The barrage in the live broadcast room is even more flying. Suck. Lick the screen. Single quote. Is this the boss? So handsome. Single quote. I'm so envious of going to see with Sister Joe. This is the SSR that Sister Joe drew, why didn't the original book know about this person? Single quote. Yeah yeah. Single quote. For a while because of this matter, everyone started a crazy discussion. As a result, the C fan circle is even more crazy to go to Ait Shuisha. Hope to give an explanation. Shuisha, which just finished the high-level meeting, quickly recruited Mr. Oda. Feedback from C fans. Oda Sensei who just arrived is also confused. Who would have thought that someone could travel through the manga he drew? This is outrageous. And all the high-level executives also looked at Oda with hope. Oda Sensei, this matter must be explained. Otherwise, C fans who already complain about the current progress of One Piece will not be satisfied. Facing the eyes of high-level expectations. Oda is also helpless. God knows why Koshiro still has a disciple. Then I, draw another manuscript. Do you explain yourself? After receiving Oda's answer, all the high-level officials nodded hurriedly. Soon an announcement will be made. A crowd of C fans flocked in. I saw only two manuscripts in the announcement. One is that Zoro was originally set as Buggy's manuscript, and the other is that Genichi is Koshiro's disciple. According to the requirements of the vast number of fans, we specially invited Mr. Oda to understand. Because Zoro was originally set to be Buggy's subordinate, so Genichi is Koshiro's disciple. The setting was changed later, so everyone didn't see the character of Genichi. Single quote. Watching Oda come out and explain himself. A crowd of C fans didn't buy it at all. Good guy, what is setting change, this kind of role, it is impossible to change it without directly. Oda knows what a pirate is, he's a manga drawer. That's right, you know what shit. This person is definitely not simple, but why doesn't the original book show mountains and dews? Strange. Single quote. Maybe it's because no one invited me, so I didn't go to see. After all, the Kendo Hall needs to be inherited, and maybe Genichi stayed in the Kendo Hall. Single quote. Just when everyone is talking about it. A C fan's speech was instantly recognized by everyone. It is impossible for a Kendo gym to have only Koshiro alone. He must inherit the mantle as he ages. And Genichi is already a swordsman at such a young age, such a person must be the most suitable. The C fans who got the answer in the affirmative flooded into Sister Joe's live broadcast room again. You say Genichi may be the future Ishin gym leader. Isn't this too outrageous? Watching the barrage in the live broadcast room. At this time, Sister Joe was even more surprised. Unexpectedly, the first partner I invited turned out to be the future owner of the Ishin gym. But looking at Genichi's handsome and heroic appearance, Sister Joe thought about it and thought it was reasonable. Just when Sister Joe kept looking at Genichi. Genichi on the side suddenly asked, can you sail? This sudden question stunned Ms. Joe. As for sailing. Don't be kidding, as a big anchor, besides going out to participate in activities, how can I have time to learn about sailing? In this regard, Sister Joe couldn't help but smile embarrassingly. No. After getting the reply from Sister Joe, Genichi suddenly said softly, neither will I. For a while, the two people on the sailboat fell into silence. Even the live broadcast room, which was discussing excitedly, fell silent for an instant. After a long time, the two of them don't have any knowledge of sailing. Single quote. Good guy, dare to go to sea. Single quote. Is this the pirate world? Start with a barrel, wherever it floats will count. And that's all about Raftal. Single quote. Everyone in the live broadcast room was suddenly overjoyed. If this gets you all out to sea. God can't see it. For Sister Joe, the most urgent task now is to invite a navigator. Genichi, do you know where you can invite navigators? With just the two of us, I'm afraid East Blue won't be able to get out. Seeing this, Sister Joe immediately looked at Genichi with hope. Facing Miss Joe's expectant eyes. Genichi glanced at it calmly and then closed his eyes. Dude, you are the captain, you do this kind of thing yourself. Seeing Genichi can't do anything. Sister Joe sat on the deck feeling a little lost. I looked around at the endless sea. 
If relying on this sailboat, when will this float? At this time, everyone in the live broadcast room suddenly came up with an idea. Sister Joe, Sister Joe, hurry up and recruit Nami. Single quote. You are in East Blue, Nami is still controlled by the Dragon Pirates, what a godsend. Single quote. Aren't you going to recruit Nami, a talented navigator? Single quote. Go to Kokoja village. Single quote. This is a great opportunity, with Genichi here, we should be able to take care of the Dragon Pirates. Single quote. I saw the barrage began to swipe the screen crazily. The ideas given one by one are to let Jojia go to Kokoja village. After all, East Blue has navigators like Nami. This is a talent that even the great pirate Golden Lion wants. And Sister Joe also noticed the content of the barrage. Yes, you can go to Kokoja village. Recruit Nami, and there will be navigators. Now we have a goal. Sister Joe who made up her mind also hurriedly looked at the shock value mall. Sister Joe who is causing a sensation in the real world. The shock value account has exceeded 100,000. Soon Sister Joe found the record pointer of Kokosha village. But the price is a shocking 50,000. Half of the shock value will be spent at once, and Sister Joe suddenly feels pain in her heart. But I thought I would have the opportunity to recruit SSR talents like Nami. The 50,000 shock value seems insignificant. Purchase. Genichi. Let's go. Wow ka ka ka, go to Kokoja village. I saw that at this time, there was a recording guide on Sister Joe's wrist. Seeing this, Genichi stood up and adjusted the sails. The boat starts sailing in the direction marked by the recorded guide. And the destination is Kokoja village. The small island where the village of Kokoja, the hometown of East Blue Nami, is located. Moo. Boom. With the sound of a cow. I saw that all the houses in a village on the island were turned upside down one after another. No. My home. These pirates. Watching my home disappear like this. The people in the village just dare not speak out. After all, this is the evil dragon pirates that dominate the East Blue. Look at these cowardly villagers. With one kick, the chief security officer will be kicked to the ground. I told you to pay enough money every month. Why did you charge 50,000 less? Facing such a ferocious chew, how could the security officer dare to resist? Seeing that all the houses in the village are about to be turned upside down by that manatee. The security officer also hurriedly said, My lord, who knew that the pregnant woman gave birth suddenly? We didn't expect it, it's just 50,000 yuan missing, we will make it up next month, we will make it up. Looking at the submissive security officer under his feet. Ju just moved his foot away. Brother Arlong is still waiting to collect the money after all. Many villages have been destroyed, and if they are all destroyed, there will be no money to collect. HMPH, I will kill all of you if you lose one point in the next month. Mumu let's go. I originally planned to continue to overturn the next house. But heard chirping. Mumu also hurriedly followed. After all the murlocs of the dragon pirates left. The people in the village looked at the messy village and could only feel sad secretly. Been here for years and they can't get out. If they could escape, how could they stay on this man-eating island? 100,000 berry for adults and 50,000 berry for children every month, even newborn children. Every month. How does this allow them to afford? On the other side, in Kokoja village. I saw countless villagers gathered in front of the house of security officer Ajian. Ajian, have you received it? You also received it? Yeah, so do we. Looking at the villagers holding this month's share in front of them. Ajian couldn't help but sighed. Why didn't he receive it? How could they not know who put the money that appeared at home inexplicably? For a while, everyone fell silent. It's because of that child. I heard what Jian said. The villagers also looked unbearable. Everyone knows where the money comes from. Today is the counting day, and there are still many people in Kekixia village who are not enough. And every month at this time, there will always be some money inexplicably appearing in their home. Except for Nami who was taken away by Arlong because of his navigating talent. Who will help them like this? But let a little girl take it all alone. Over the years, the villagers have also become more and more guilty. I have a long-standing grudge against the pirates of the dragon pirates. Okay. Everyone put down the money and go back. Don't waste Nami's hard work. 
Don't lose your life in vain. Just when the atmosphere was getting dull, Ajian also hurriedly stood up. Just relying on their current strength, wanting to fight against the dragon pirates is like a mantis arm. You know, even Marine has been here several times. As a result, every time the warship sank into the sea before it touched the shore. Since then, all the villages on the island have been numb. Following Ajien's orders, after the villagers put down the monthly money in their hands, they all left in silence. After everyone leaves, Jian looked at Bailey who still had bloodline in the bag. Think Nami must have suffered so much for the money. At this time, not far from Ajien's house, a beautiful figure is hidden in the shadows. Looking at Ajien who was covered in scars and remained silent. Suppressing the reluctance in my heart, I turned and left Kokoja village. After leaving, Chenying quickly returned to a luxurious building. Yo Nami, are you back so soon? Didn't you stay at home for a while? Hachi, who has been guarding the building, looked at Nami who came back and couldn't help asking. Inquiries for Shaoba. Nami just nodded plainly and went back to her room. And Hachi has already gotten used to Nami's attitude. Looking at the nautical charts scattered around the room. At this time, Nami is full of powerlessness. I want to save everyone. Soon. Soon I can earn 100 million berry. At that time, everyone will be free. When I think of the bailey I hide in the orange field. Nami is full of motivation. It's coming soon. Looking at the nautical chart on the table, Nami began to look for the next location. It's time to start planning the next target to steal. Meanwhile on the route to Kokoja village. Genichi, how long until we arrive? I'm going to die on a boat before I see land. I've only seen so many days, just looking at the past. There is still only the endless sea in sight. This feeling makes life worse than death. At this time, Sister Joe was lying on the deck without image, complaining non-stop. But the heat in the live broadcast room has not diminished at all. On the contrary, after so many days, no matter whether they watched pirates or not, after learning that Sister Joe had traveled to the pirate world, they flocked in one after another. But after watching so many days of sailing live broadcasts, the water friends in the live broadcast room also sent bullet screens to comfort Sister Joe. My boy, is this the day of sailing? Single quote. Looking at Luffy, they thought sailing was fun. That's right, this is simply torture. Single quote. It's hard to imagine how those who have been working on the sea all the year round persisted. I can't stand this kind of life. But why doesn't that Genichi feel anything? Single quote. While everyone was still interacting with Sister Joe in the live broadcast room. Some viewers focus on Genichi. At this time, Genichi was holding a training saber and was repeatedly swinging the sword on the deck. 17,565. 17,566. Watch Genichi in action. Sister Joe regained her spirits instantly. These days, only when Genichi is practicing, Sister Joe can be a little bit more energetic. After all, who wouldn't want to see a handsome guy working hard? And the muscles glistening with the swing of the sword. Hey, hey, Sister Joe, stop your saliva. Single quote. Seeing my crew drooling every day, how shameless. Single quote. Don't look at brother Genichi, he's mine. Quickly point the camera at the little brother, we want to appreciate it too. The dog anchor eats alone. Single quote. Glancing at the barrage in the live broadcast room. At this time, Sister Joe was already fearless. It's still the hype you said, but I won't show it to you. The look of a dead pig not afraid of boiling water made everyone in the live broadcast room gnash their teeth. But they have nothing to do with Miss Joe. Um. Just when Sister Joe was still teasing her water friends while admiring Genichi exercising. Genichi, who was still swinging his sword, suddenly stopped. Seeing this, Sister Joe hurriedly followed Genichi's gaze. I saw an island on the sea level in the distance is getting bigger and bigger. Ah 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 It's land. Finally see the island. Genichi, look. Just heard an exclamation. Sister Joe, who was still lacking in interest, jumped up instantly. So many days of sailing. I finally saw the land again, which made Miss Joe very happy. The throat-breaking cry is like a magic voice piercing the ears. Sister Joe stopped screaming. Single quote. Oh my god, why does this anchor have a long mouth? 
Single quote. Who will help me shut up Miss Joe's mouth? Single quote. I can't take it anymore, this voice is just hitting my head. Single quote. For a while, whether it is in the live broadcast room or the genichi on the ship, everyone's scalp is numb from Sister Joe's scalp. This scream makes people doubt life. Looking at the excited Sister Joe. At this time, Genichi also understands why Sister Joe can be called a dumb bride. What a beauty, but a pity she has a mouth. Looking at Sister Joe who was still shaking her arms. Genichi also said helplessly, I saw it. The front is the direction you record the pointer pointing to. It seems that we should have reached Kokoja village. Seeing that Genichi said so, he adjusted the sails directly. The boat quickly accelerated towards the island in front of it. At this time, in the domain of the evil dragon. Boss, there is a boat coming from the sea. Looking at the direction, it seems to be going to Kokoja village. On the highest watchtower in the dragon realm. The observing murlocs soon spotted Genichi in their boat. But for this kind of boat, the dragon pirates generally won't sink it. After all, it is not so easy for the people on this boat to leave after they come. If you want to live, you have to pay. HMPH, Kokoja Village. Hear the report from your subordinates. At this moment, Arlong had a cruel smile on his face. This village Arlong is impressive. If it wasn't for this village, I still couldn't find such a good navigator. Kruby, have you paid enough money for Kokoja Village this month? Facing Arlong's query, Kroobi on the side also put the money bag from a GN in front of Arlong. The numbers in it are already correct. Enough boss, not bad at all. Oh, look at Pele. At this time, Arlong's face is full of playfulness. Nami who was standing aside was even more nervous at this time. Who knows what the devil in front of him is thinking. Hey, Nami. Kokuxia village has been able to make enough money every month these years. It's amazing. Speaking of this, Arlong suddenly stared at Nami with a pair of dead fish eyes. This weird look. Let Nami's body tense unconsciously. But Arlong's next words made Nami's face change dramatically. Since this is the case, every month in the future, Kokoja village will need to pay 10% more. Nami who heard this sentence can't bear it. If this increased by 10%, the people in the village would definitely be desperate. Arlong. How could this happen? You promised me that I would not do anything to Kokoja village. Facing Nami's questioning. At this time, Arlong stood up slowly and came to Nami. Looking down at Nami in front of him. A big hand instantly lifts Nami up while pinching his face. Nami, who do you think Lousy is? How dare you talk to Lousy like that? To hear Arlong's unceremonious questioning. Only then did Nami realize that the demon in front of him is a pirate who hates humans. How can such a person talk about credibility? Watching Nami struggling in his hand. Arlong throws Nami out of the way. But at this time, Arlong suddenly grinned, and the sharp teeth looked extremely terrifying. It's okay if you don't want to increase the number of months. You should have heard Nami just now. Go kill those two outlanders, or bring all the belongings on their ship. When the time comes, Kokoja village will just go on as usual. As Arlong says. At this time, Nami's eyes are full of struggle. But thinking of the village, Nami got up and left the dragon domain. Watching Nami leave, Arlong looked at Ju at the side. The latter suddenly grinned. Brother Arlong, Nami Zombelli's place has been found. It's in her orange field, but there are only 20 million baileys in it. Do you want? Arlong waved his hand when he heard the words. For Nami's ability, Arlong appreciates it very much. What's the hurry? It's only 20 million berry, it's still too early for 100 million berry. When the 100 million berry is almost enough, I will take them all. At that time, what expression do you think our little thieving cat will have? Jayahahaha. For a moment, the murlocs in the entire dragon domain laughed wildly. But mere human. Even if you join the dragon pirates, you still can't change the essence of being human. At this time, Kokoja village. Two figures slowly came to the village. Brothers. Reach Nami's hometown. The next step is to recruit Nami. Looking at the Kokoja village that appeared in the original animation. Now the reality is in front of my eyes. Miss Joe is also very excited. As for Genichi on the side, he is used to it now. 
Sister Jo was afraid that Genichi might not know what she was doing, so she explained it to her. In this regard, Genichi can only cover up everything with silence. I even know your nickname. Just when the two were about to take a stroll in the village. A figure stopped in front of the two of them. Looking at the person coming, the live broadcast instantly exploded. Is this a GN? Single quote. The scars and stains all over the body, this is too scary. Aegean is a real man. Single quote. It's amazing. Single quote. The person who came was Jian, a man who was more of a father than a father to Nami. Looking at Sister Jo and Genichi in front of me. Ah Jian's face is full of helplessness. Hey, why did you come to Kokoja village? Now, I'm afraid you won't be able to leave here. As for the reason, you don't need Ah Jian to say, Sister Jo already knows. It should be the dragon pirates where Nami is now. If it was before, Sister Joe might still be afraid. But now, ever since I saw Genichi's ability to instantly kill the king of the sea with a single blow. Miss Joe, don't be too confident. Don't wait for Miss Joe to speak. A beautiful shadow walked over quickly. Seeing this person, with short orange hair and a pretty face covered with frost at the moment. Nami, what is this? Ah Jien, who wanted to say something, couldn't help being overjoyed when he saw Nami appearing. But seeing Nami's expression, Ajien held back all the words he wanted to say. Really Nami. Single quote. Sister Joe, give me a close up. Single quote. Oh my god, Nami showed up. Single quote. Ah, Nami psycho. Single quote. And the moment when Nami appeared in the live broadcast room, it completely boiled over. At the same time, all hot searches in the real world were once again dominated by Sister Joe. The moment the original character Nami appeared, the audience exploded. Shocked. Nami appeared in Sister Joe's studio. Nami actually wants to join the Joe Sister Pirates. The Dragon Pirates will be destroyed soon. Leave away, Duniang is here, where is my Nami? Single quote. What's your Nami, it's mine. Single quote. Nami, he he he, my Nami. Look, fans of the sea, the live Nami is different from the anime. Single quote. It's beautiful. My wife looks so good looking when she is angry. Single quote. With the appearance of Nami. More and more people poured into the live broadcast room. The moment I saw Nami. The prompts in Sister Joe's mind also began to beat continuously. Ding. Shock value plus one plus one plus one plus one. Ding. Shock value plus six six. After buying the record guide of Kokoja Village, the shock value will be reduced by half. At this moment, it starts to soar wildly upwards. The reminder sound is like the sound of nature in Sister Joe's mind at this moment. Watching the numbers jumping on the account. Sister Joe couldn't help but smirked. Nami, who is going to drive the two away directly? At this time, looking at Sister Joe who had been giggling all the time. I was speechless for a while. Subconsciously classified Sister Joe into the ranks of stupid women. And Genichi on the side is naturally regarded as the backbone by Nami. Sorry. Single quote. But for the sake of the village, I have to do this. Single quote. For the Genichi duo, Nami doesn't want either. But compared with the village, it is obvious that the village is much more important in Nami's heart. You two are unlucky today. Now there are only two roads before you. I saw Nami talking, and I don't know when there was an extra dagger in his hand. First. Put down your belongings and get out of Kokoja village. Second, I bring your dead bodies to Arlong. After all, Nami put on a fierce look and glared at Genichi. The dagger in his hand is constantly making gestures. It's like if Genichi answers a no word, the dagger is about to stab it. Looking at Nami at this time. What does Ajien want to say? But looking at Nami's thin body in front of me. Ajien knew in his heart what Nami was carrying. In this regard, Ajien wanted to help but didn't know what to say, so he could only cast an apologetic look at Sister Jo and the two of them. Looking at Nami in front of me. Genichi didn't know him, so he glanced at Sister Jo beside him. How? Are you going to cut it? Voice just fell. The Guanxi Masamune at the waist was pushed away by Genichi with his thumb. When Setsuna appeared with the ice blue blade, a sharp sword intent instantly enveloped Nami in front of him. At this time, Nami seemed to have entered an ice cellar in a trance. A biting chill hangs over. Genichi, 
Put it away. She's the Nami we're looking for. Put the knife away. Sister Joe, who was originally silent in the joy of earning shock points. In the blink of an eye, I saw that Genichi was about to draw his sword. Nami, who is still pretending to be ferocious, now still has the calmness just now. The whole person was frightened by Genichi and turned pale. My eyes are almost out of focus. It's worth it. And the people in the live broadcast room even called it wonderful. My good fellow, Genichi Sama is indeed a swordsman. Single quote. Without a woman in my heart, draw a sword and be a god of nature. Single quote. Is this the top swordsman? Single quote. I see, as long as there is no woman in my heart, I can be as strong as Genichi. Single quote. Upstairs look in the mirror, first you have Genichi's face. Single quote. Hearing Sister Joe's shout, Genichi pouted helplessly. Then he glanced at Nami, who was about to collapse, and put Guanxi Masamune back. At the moment when Kan's Masamune put it away, Nami slumped on the ground as if she had lost her strength. Just that momentum. Scarier than Arlong. Seeing Nami's appearance, Sister Joe hurried up to comfort her. Nami, are you okay? Genichi doesn't mean anything malicious, we're here for you. As for the dragon pirates, you don't need to worry at all. With this guy here, he can definitely handle it. Sister Joe pulled Genichi to her side while talking, and patted Genichi on the shoulder with a happy face. But Sister Joe didn't notice. At this time, Nami looked suspicious. You said you came to find me. Of course. I heard that there is a genius navigator in the Dragon Pirates. We're going to see too, but it's just the two of us, so I'm here to find you. Follow Miss Joe. Nami, who was still suspicious at first, suddenly became disgusted at this moment. He looked at Sister Joe in front of him with unfriendly eyes. Are you pirates too? Face this problem. Still waiting for Sister Joe to answer. Answers have already been frantically swiped up in the live broadcast room. Good guy, I'm here to give you a proposition. The answer is definitely not, no and no, it's not what you are doing at sea. Why do you think so much, just kill all the murlocs, destroy the dragon domain, especially the room where Nami was imprisoned for drawing. Single quote. That's right. As long as you do these things, Nami will definitely go out to sea. Glancing at the barrage in the live broadcast room, Sister Joe also gritted her teeth and said, that's right, but it's just the two of us, not even a pirate ship. As predicted, I heard Miss Joe's answer. Nami got up immediately to leave. For pirates, Nami's shadow is too big. You guys better get out of here as soon as possible. You will not be a match for the dragon. That's all I can say, so I can do it myself. After leaving a few words of advice from Nami, he left here. Watching Nami leave, Ah Jien, who was standing aside, couldn't help but sighed. You two should leave as soon as possible. Otherwise, you won't be able to leave when the dragon pirates come over. Just when Ah Jien was about to leave, Sister Joe stopped Ah Jien. Uncle Jien, please tell us how to get to the two evil dragon domains. Please. I heard Miss Joe's words. A Jien was shocked and said, you two are dying. I told you to leave soon, why are you still going to the dragon realm? In this regard, Sister Joe smiled lightly. Of course it's to recruit my talented navigator. It's just the dragon pirates, not half as good as my Genichi. After all, he looked proudly at Genichi. I heard Miss Joe's words. Jien couldn't help but look deeply at Genichi. Ken doesn't have a good look at the guy who just pulled out the knife and almost made Nami collapse on the ground. But it's just that the momentum is so strong. Strength should not be underestimated. Thinking of this, Ah Jien no longer hesitated, and told the two of them the location of the evil dragon domain. Sister Jo got the position and pulled Genichi directly to the dragon domain. Looking at the two people leaving. After standing still for a long time, Ah Jien rushed to the former Bell Mel's house behind the village. At this time, Miss Joe. Brothers, take you to open your eyes. I'm going to see the murloc soon, are you excited or surprised? Ha 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 ha. Staff please get out of the way. Does going to the dragon domain have something to do with you, a little party? Single quote. Isn't it all up to me, Mr. Genichi? Single quote. Please this staff member do his job. Single quote. That's right, you must show off the heroic figure of Genichi-sama. Single quote. 
looking at the shameless sister Joe in the live broadcast room. A group of water friends also complained one after another. The barrage in the entire live broadcast room is full of complaints. Ms. Joe who was still full of confidence. Seeing this, he honestly gave the camera to Genichi. Looking at Genichi who is calm and breezy. Is this the boss? Single quote. Hiss, it's terrifying to be able to maintain such a posture at this time. Single quote. Master Genichi is so confident. Single quote. Arlong is a pirate with a bounty of 20 million baileys, don't overturn. What did the people upstairs say? Is 20 million baileys a lot? Single quote. For a while in the live broadcast room, he crazily praised Genichi. Ever since Genichi killed the king of the offshore. The footage was taken out by the water friends in the live broadcast room and spread everywhere. As a result, everyone now agrees that Genichi's strength is at least unrivaled in East Blue. It is not yet clear whether Genichi will be hockey. Smoker may be more or less a threat to Genichi. As for other. Now it is not taken seriously by the water friends in the live broadcast room. Soon the two came to the gate of the dragon realm. Looking at the closed door. Sister Joe walked aside very tactfully. Before leaving, I did not forget to pat Genichi on the shoulder. Genichi. I'll leave it to you. Be sure to complete the tasks assigned to you by the organization. I will support you behind my back. After Miss Joe finished speaking, she quickly hid. After all, there is going to be a war. I am now a powerless burden. It's better to be a bystander and hide. Seeing that Sister Joe has already hidden away. Genichi is no nonsense. Guanxi Jungzong pulled out his waist in an instant and waved towards the door in front of him. PFF. Boom. I saw that Genichi just waved the Kanchi Masamune twice. The tall gate of the dragon realm was cut open in the middle like tofu. The two gates turned into stones and collapsed. I'll go, this is so handsome. It's over, it's over, it's so handsome, okay. Watch Genichi in action. At this moment, Sister Joe who is hiding in the distance feels as if the whole world is lit up. That cool action. A pretty face flushed with excitement. When did all the water friends in the live broadcast room see Sister Joe like this? Sister Joe has fallen. Single quote. It's over, it's over, my dumb bride has her own heart. Single quote. This scene won't make anyone's heart beat. I won't talk about her strength, but she's so handsome, it's unreasonable. Single quote. For a while, the whole live broadcast room was full of sighs. At this time, in the domain of the evil dragon. With the loud noise of the destroyed gate. The resting murlocs hurried out of the room. What's the situation? Enemy attack enemy attack. There are enemies, call boss Arlong. Notify the cadres. Soon everyone from the dragon pirates gathered in the square. Looking at the destroyed gate. Everyone looked at Genichi standing at the door with unkind eyes. It's human. These lowly humans dare to come here to find trouble. It's really courting death. Chop him up and feed it to Momu. After discovering that the gate was destroyed by Genichi. A group of murlocs have arranged for Genichi's fate. Soon as the boss, Arlong slowly walked out of the building. Glancing at Genichi at the door, there was a savage smile on the ferocious shark's face at the moment. Xiao Ba, let this human being experience the power of murlocs. How can these lowly humans know the power of murlocs? I saw just after Arlong finished speaking. As the swordsman of the dragon pirates, Hachi stood up. Looking at Genichi holding Kan's Masamune. But Xiao Ba said confidently, HMPH, boy. You'd better surrender now. I have six knives, you can't beat me. Let you see my six sword style. Follow it. The six knives in my hand kept waving. The huge force makes the six knives sweep through the fierce wind. Six sword style sheath foot strange sword. In an instant, six knives attack Genichi at the same time. Facing Shaoba's offensive. No pressure at all for Genichi. What are you talking about six swords? From Genichi's point of view, it's just slashing wildly with six knives in his arms. Just when Xiao Ba rushed forward with confidence. Genichi cuts forward instantly. The ice blue sword light flashed by. You. I saw Xiao Ba who was still rushing forward suddenly stopped. An octopus with a shocked face. Arlong and the others on the side were still wondering why Xiao Ba didn't move suddenly. PFF. Xiao Ba. With a column of blood soaring into the sky. 
Xiao Ba's body was divided into two like mud and fell to the ground. As one of the cadres, Xiao Ba. It was cut in half by the opponent's understatement. Before the other murlocs react. At this time, Genichi just wants to finish work as soon as possible. Under the perception of Genichi, none of these murlocs can make themselves serious. PFF. PFF. Ah. Brother Arlong. Help. PFF. As the figure of Genichi keeps flashing. One by one murlocs were beheaded in the square. But the evil dragon who is the boss can't even catch Genichi's figure at this moment. Watching my compatriots being hacked to death one by one by Genichi. At this time, Arlong understood what fear is. It's impossible for the gap to be so big. Lousy is a noble murloc. It's just a mere human. His compatriots were hacked to death one by one like animals. At this moment, Arlong's eyes were completely red. Seeing that the number of people was getting smaller and smaller, Arlong rushed into the building and took out his own weapon, Sawblade. Human. Died a lousy. With the weapon in hand, Arlong also has a little bit of confidence in his heart. The gigantic Xanfang slams in Genichi's direction. Facing Arlong's attack, the slashing movement in Genichi's hand didn't stop. The speed of the slashing peak was so slow that even Genichi's shadow didn't touch it. How can it be repaired? How could such a thing be true? Lousy doesn't believe it. Let Lousy die. Seeing myself can't even touch Genichi. It's worse than killing Arlong. Especially when I saw my compatriots being killed one by one by this lowly human being in front of me. At this time, Arlong's eyes were red like a madman. Soon in the square, Kruby and Chu also rushed to Xiaoba's footsteps and were decapitated by Genichi with a knife. Arlong is the only one left in the Dragon Pirates. On the other side, after learning from Aegean that Sister Zhou and Genichi had gone to the Dragon Realm. Nami also didn't dare to stay for a moment and hurriedly ran towards the dragon's domain. Nami who rushed over saw the broken gate from afar. The moment Nami just stepped into the dragon field plaza. Genichi, standing in front of Arlong, also swung his final sword. Say goodbye to the past, Nami. It's just a mere human. Died a lousy. Facing the knife of Genichi. Arlong also swung Zan Feng with all his strength. But what Arlong didn't expect was. Genichi didn't take him seriously at all. Fight knife. Give me a break. You are not good enough. I saw an ice blue slash shot out in an instant. Arlong's figure was instantly submerged in the slash. Arlong's slash is even more powerful after solving it. In Nami's eyes, the ice blue slash hit the tall building in the dragon's domain. The domain of the evil dragon pressing down on the village of Kokoja like a mountain. Now completely collapsed in this stunning slash. Slowly dissipates with the slash. Even the eye-catching building turned into flying ash all over the sky and disappeared in front of my eyes. Everything that used to be like a nightmare has completely disappeared. Seeing all this, Nami froze in place for a long time and couldn't let go. This knife is too handsome. What is card face? Brothers. After everything is settled. Sister Joe who has been hiding in the distance hastily came to Genichi. Looking at Genichi who is calmly withdrawing the knife at this moment. Sister Joe is so admired to death. A pair of beautiful eyes full of Genichi. The staff of the atmosphere team hurry up and serve tea to the Genichi boss. Single quote. I'm so envious of Miss Joe, what luck. Single quote. This is too fierce. Single quote. A dragon with 20 million baileys will be killed in seconds. Single quote. Isn't this strength too terrifying? Single quote. Get started with Genichi. Arlong and the dragon domain were destroyed with the last blow. The powerful strength made everyone in the live broadcast room mesmerized. No one expected that Genichi's strength is so strong. This terrifying strength is simply a dimensionality reduction blow in East Blue. Even Luffy and Zoro, who just went to see, don't have such terrifying strength. The entire studio was filled with applause. Little days in the real world. Gee. This strength, this is incredible. Oda Sensei, isn't this Genichi too strong? How do I explain it now? I already know that after Sister Joe crosses. Everyone at Shuisha is always watching Sister Joe's live broadcast. As an important plot in One Piece. The copy of the Dragon Pirates is naturally the focus of attention. In the entire East Blue, the Dragon Pirates are the strongest. 
but in front of Genichi, it is as simple as chopping melons and vegetables. At this time, Oda also looked shocked. Good guy, there are such powerful characters in the comics I drew. This, can you add a setting? Anyway, they don't know if there is such a character. Make money, not chill. Facing the eyes of Shuish's high-level executives. What else could Oda say, he just nodded. Soon a character card about Genichi was announced by Shuisha. Name. Genichi. Faction. Future director of the Ishin Gym. Strength. Shichibukai class. Saber. Dakue Dao 21 Gong Guanchi Authentic. Looking at the published information. And illustrations by Genichi. A group of C fans also called it wonderful. So Genichi is a Shichibukai level existence. Single quote. Such an SSR can be touched by Sister Joe. Single quote. Uhuang. Single quote. Shichibukai level swordsman, isn't this a Hawkeye? Single quote. Just when everyone was shocked when Sister Joe won the SSR. Some C fans who observed meticulously suddenly discovered a problem. Why is the setting of Genichi so similar to Hawkeye? Reminded by a C fan. The C fan circle exploded in an instant. Dude, Shichibukai level, still a swordsman. Isn't this another Hawkeye? The strength in Shichibukai is naturally high and low. Low like Gekko Moria, defeated by Kaido like a dead dog. The strong one is like the eagle eye, bearing the title of the world's number one swordsman, even the red hair is just an object of comparison. And now, Genichi's SSR like an eagle's eye was dug out by Jojia. At this time, everyone in the live broadcast room is so jealous that the walls are separated. Uhuang. Single quote. I really envy Miss Joe's luck. Single quote. Stop talking, stop talking, except Genichi, Nami is going to be on board. My Nami. In the live broadcast room, I don't know who suddenly raised his mouth. At this moment, everyone reacted. Good guy, Genichi destroyed the dragon domain with one blow. It's a certainty that Nami is on board. After seeing the barrage in the live broadcast room. Sister Joe also immediately came to Nami's side. Nami staring blankly at the disappearing dragon domain in a daze. Sister Joe couldn't help feeling distressed. Everyone who has watched anime knows that Nami didn't know how many things he carried since he was a child. Finally, in the Sabayati Islands, we have to take care of the overall situation to forgive Shaoba who invaded his homeland. Think here. Sister Joe gently pulled Nami into her arms. Only then did Nami react. Pressed on the village, the dragon domain on him is gone. Completely wiped out. Woo. I don't know how long Nami has been suppressed. At this time, she was hugged by Sister Joe and cried bitterly. That sad appearance broke the hearts of all the C fans in the live broadcast room. You Oda dog thief, you can still clean up Hachi who invaded Nami's hometown. Single quote. Is such a guy worthy? Single quote. I really don't know how wrong Nami was to accept Hachi's apology. If an apology is going to help, what more do the police do? Single quote. Oda is a bad man who draws manga, he knows what a pirate. Single quote. Nami looking so sad. Countless sea fans are burning with anger. Soon the anger burned on Shuisha's head. Countless sea fans began to criticize Hachi in the Shuisha forum. Even Oda was scolded. Seeing this, all the high-level executives of Shuisha looked at each other in blank dismay. But in the same way, One Piece also became popular again because of this incident. Quick, quick, take this opportunity to release a figure of Genichi killing Hachi with one knife. Posters. Figures. Contact the manufacturer to make all the peripherals as soon as possible. This time we are well developed. As for whether Oda is scolded or not, the top executives of Shuisha don't care. One Piece is so popular now, and Sister Joe traveled to the world of One Piece. The follow-up plot is not important anymore, now everyone gathers in Sister Joe's live broadcast room every day to watch the live broadcast. What does it matter if your One Piece is not updated? But this series of accessories is their income. Soon the Genichi series will be officially listed. Relying on Genichi's figures, Shuisha also makes a lot of money. At this time, in the pirate world. Just when Sister Joe comforted Nami carefully. Suddenly, countless figures appeared in the distance. Everyone has a weapon in their hands. Even the hoe for weeding at home was taken out. And the leader is Jian who went to look for Nami. 
Arlong, another 10% increase. Nami has endured enough over the years, and we old guys have had enough of living with daily fear. Everyone go together. Under the leadership of AGN. All the men in the village followed, and came to the dragon's domain. But the building that was supposed to stand here has disappeared. At this time, Nami was still crying in the arms of a beautiful woman. Um, what's the situation? What about the dragon domain? Looking at the empty square in front of me. Ajian and all the villagers froze in place. Look at the bloodlines all over the square and the murlocs who have not breathed for a long time. This scene made the villagers who came to help unable to react for a while. Nami, are you okay? A beautiful figure in the crowd hurriedly came to Sister Joe and Nami. Seeing Nami who was crying bitterly, Nuo Chigao hurriedly asked. Fortunately, Nami's mood has eased a lot at this time. Seeing Ajien bring so many villagers here. Nami knows why without thinking. This is also why there are so many wounds in a fitness. Looking at the villagers who care about themselves in front of them. Nami wiped the tears from his face and slowly stood up and walked in front of Ajian. In the face of everyone's concerned and suspicious eyes. Nami's face once again showed a smile that he hadn't seen for many years. Everyone. The dragon pirates have disappeared. From now on, you don't have to pay any more, and you don't have to be afraid anymore. I just follow Nami's words. The pupils of Ajian and others suddenly dilated. Although everyone saw all this in front of them, they already had guesses in their hearts. But not sure. Now spoken by Nami. For a time, everyone seemed to be dreaming. Oh my god. The dragon is really wiped out. Become free. Great. We're free. For a moment. All the villagers cheered with excitement. They've waited too long for this moment. And, let Nami, a little girl, bear it all by herself all these years. How can these village names not blame themselves? Now, the dragon pirates have been wiped out, and Nami can also be freed. Looking at the cheering villagers in front of me, Nami laughed too. At this moment, Nami felt extremely relaxed. Nuo Chigao beside him was also very happy when he saw this. But Nuo Chigao looked at Sister Jo and Genichi at the side. There are only two people who can do this kind of thing that I have never seen before. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Seeing the two Jo sisters who solved the evil dragon pirate group, Nuo Chigao slowly stepped forward to thank. Although this matter has nothing to do with Miss Jo. But who made Miss Jo the captain? Ha 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 ha, it's a trivial matter. The evil dragon pirate group, what a shame. Looking at the embarrassing Ms. Jo. Genichi also curled his lips angrily. Nuo Chigao couldn't help laughing as she looked at Sister Jo who was a bit of a joke in front of her. Especially Genichi on the side is so calm, and Nuo Chigao is quite interesting looking at the two. At this time, in the live broadcast room. It boiled up again when Nuo Chigao came out. Zuzuzu, black-skinned beauty. Single quote. Nuo Chigao is so beautiful, I'll go. Single quote. This body, this face, these lips, perfect. Single quote. How do I feel that Nuo Chigao is better? Single quote. Shit, Nami is the best. Single quote. The whole live broadcast room fell under Nuo Chigao's beauty one after another. And there are some hidden sea fans in the live broadcast room who are full of disdain for these guys who are discussing in full swing. But each and every one of them is high. When the pirate empress comes out, she will be called a beauty. Thinking of this, this group of people stayed in the live broadcast room even more attentively. Maybe when will I be able to meet the most beautiful woman in the world? Genichi, thank you. Just as everyone was cheering and celebrating, Nami suddenly came to Genichi's side. Looking at the man in front of me who saved himself. Nami embraced without hesitation. Here Nami's thanks. Genichi didn't push away either. Just like that, the two quietly embraced each other. But Sister Jo on the side looked uncomfortable. I don't know why, seeing the two hugging each other, Sister Jo felt a little panicked inexplicably. And Sister Jo's expression is naturally impossible to be let off by everyone in the live broadcast room. Hiss, Sister Jo is jealous. Single quote. But Genichi is capable and handsome, so it's reasonable to like such a person. Compared with Nami, especially after two years, Sister Jo has no advantage at all. Who said no? You do pornography. Single quote. 
As a C fan, I naturally understand what it means. Nami two years ago can only say that Xiaohei is just showing her sharpness. But two years later, it's really big. Watching the bullet screen discussed in the live broadcast room. Sister Jo couldn't help but subconsciously lowered her head and looked at. HMPH. My old lady can still develop. And I'm the captain. Do you understand the captain? After all, Sister Jo looked at Ajian and others who were going back to Kokoja village to hold a banquet. Seeing the opportunity, Sister Jo hurriedly shouted, Jenichi. Nami. Let's go back to the village for a banquet. Uncle Jian said that this has not been held for many years. Come here now. I heard Miss Jo's cry. Nami hastily let go of Jenichi. A pretty face turned red at this time. After saying thank you again, he hurriedly ran towards the crowd. Watching Nami leave, Jenichi couldn't help but glanced at Sister Jo who was still making faces not far away. Jenichi, how are you doing? Is it comfortable to be hugged by a beautiful girl? At this time, Sister Jo was already jealous. Then he walked to Jenichi's side and asked sourly. Looking at the posture of this little woman, Sister Jo, Jenichi also wanted to tease, and then joked, it's okay. It's just that the time is too short. Hear Jenichi's answer. Sister Jo was even more jealous and said, Oh, I'm so sorry. It's all the captain's fault for interrupting your good business. After saying that, he followed the crowd angrily. Stepping hard on the ground while walking. As if he could stomp Jenichi under his feet. Jenichi behind him is simply too happy. But everyone in the live broadcast room is full of ant smiles. Oh, Sister Jo is jealous. Single quote. Zuzuzu, the opponent is Nami, Sister Joe is a bit difficult to deal with. Sister Joe, difficult. If it's difficult, then don't do it. Turn the table. Ha 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 ha, break the defense, break the defense. Single quote. In the live broadcast room, the girl who has the best relationship with Sister Joe is even more laughing. When did you see Miss Joe like this? Soon the news of the destruction of the dragon pirates spread throughout the island. All the oppressed villages began to celebrate wildly at this moment. And Kokoja village also opened a grand bonfire party. For thanks. Sister Jo and Jenichi were surrounded by the villagers of Kokoja village and kept thanking them. Good wine, food, and programs emerge one after another. And Nami and Nuo Chigao even danced with everyone at the banquet. Kokoja village has waited too long for this moment. As for Jien came to Haoshan with food and wine shortly after the banquet started. This is where Bel Mel is buried. Sitting here, Ajien seemed to have opened up a chatter box, and told little by little everything that happened today. Looking at the village with laughter in the distance. Ajien also showed a gratified smile. Ha ha ha, Bel Mel, don't worry, the two children are now very good girls. Oh, I had a lot of fun last night. My head hurts. Early the next morning. Sister Jo woke up after drinking too much at the banquet. I rubbed my swollen head and couldn't help but look around. I saw that Nami and Nuo Chigao hadn't woken up yet except myself. But the image is not very good, messy. And there's only Jenichi in the room. The most important point is that the live broadcast room did not seem to be closed last night. Thinking of this, Miss Jo hurriedly looked at the live broadcast room. Good guy, Sister Jo went all out after getting drunk. Single quote. Hung directly on Jenichi. Single quote. Woman, dare to take advantage of Jenichi Sama. Single quote. Wu. Watching the barrage in the live broadcast room. Sister Jo also blushed. I didn't expect myself to be so bold last night. Thinking of the picture of Jenichi and Nami embracing yesterday. Sister Jo couldn't help snorting coldly. Cut, you fools. Being able to get my mother's favor is his admiration, okay. Others want to hug but can't hug. I heard Miss Jo say that. The people in the studio are not happy. Everyone started complaining. Sister Jo's mouth is rigid all over her body. Single quote. Don't be stubborn, we've already taken a screenshot, do you want to take a look? Single quote. It's useless to be stubborn. Single quote. Looking at the group of rebels in the live broadcast room. Sister Jo also looked helpless. Just when Sister Jo was still online PK with this group of rebels in the live broadcast room. Nami and Nuo Chigao on the side also woke up. Seeing Sister Jo so energetic early in the morning. 
The two are also smiling. I've never seen a girl like Sister Jo. Soon the three of them washed up and walked out of the room. And Genichi outside the room has already completed the daily proficiency tasks. Looking at the three girls who just woke up. After saying hello calmly, he continued his sword meditation. I'm going, why is Genichi so hard? Single quote. The people who came out of the Ishin Gymnasium really worked hard, and the level of hard work can be compared with Suo Da. Single quote. Sure enough, everyone's strength is inseparable from hard work. Single quote. Sister Jo is really lucky, she can scrape an SSR even when Zoro is gone. Single quote. Meet such a hard-working Genichi. The bullet screen in the live broadcast room is flying up. Watching Genichi practicing. Sister Jo and the three of them had nothing to do, so they watched quietly from the sidelines. Now the dragon pirates have been dealt with. Next, they will definitely continue to go to sea. So the direction to go next is also a question. Just when the three of them sat aside and stopped to watch. But Nami suddenly asked Sister Jo beside her, So, Shuyi, are you the captain? Faced with Nami's question, Sister Jo subconsciously nodded. After getting the answer, Nami couldn't help but stared at Sister Jo suspiciously and began to observe. At this time, Sister Jo was stared at by Nami like this. I just feel uncomfortable all over. A little embarrassed said, Nami, what are you doing, what's the problem? I'm just looking at your strengths. You can recruit such a powerful crew as Mr. Genichi. After all, Nami still looks pensive. Looking at Nami's face. Sister Jo blushed immediately, and scratched Nami's itch with her hands. Okay you, Nami, you're making fun of me. Ha 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 ha. Being made such a fuss by Sister Jo. The three girls immediately joked with each other. But in the face of Nami's inquiry. After playing around for a while, Sister Jo couldn't help but said in a deep voice, I don't know why I came here. As for why I became the captain and recruited Genichi. Because I have a reason to go to sea. Speaking of which, Nami and Nuo Chigao couldn't help looking at Sister Jo. At this time, the two of them have been frantically making up in their minds. Such as a miserable family, a destroyed country, etc. But the fact is that Sister Jo can only go to see honestly if she wants to return to the real world. After all, my parents are waiting for me to go back. Thinking of this, Sister Jo couldn't help looking at Nami, and sincerely sent out an invitation again. Nami, join us, let's conquer this sea of stars together. Don't you want to draw the most complete sea chart in the world? Facing Miss Joe's invitation, Nuo Chigao on the side gave Nami an encouraging look. Nami agreed without hesitation. Then, please take care of me in the future. Captain, with Nami's consent, Sister Joe suddenly laughed happily. Now my pirate group finally has one person again. And Genichi on the side saw that Nami also joined. There is also a smile on the face. Soon everyone boarded the boat again surrounded by all the villagers in Kokosha village. Originally, Ajian planned to help everyone build a large pirate group together. But Sister Jo thought about it and now there are only three of her, and she can use the shock value in the live broadcast room to exchange for a good pirate ship. So he directly rejected Ajian's kindness. And Nami took some orange tree seeds before leaving. As for the 20 million baileys hidden in the fields, all of them were given to the people in the village. See you then, everyone. Wait until I draw a complete sea map of the world. I will definitely come back. Looking at the people behind Aegean standing on the shore to see them off. Nami is also holding back and waving goodbye. Sister Jo, who is also a girl, is the last thing she wants to see such a scene. However, as the captain, Sister Jo still stood up. Uncle Jian, I will definitely take good care of Nami. With Genichi here, you can rest assured. After finishing speaking, Sister Jo dragged Genichi who was going to sleep for a while. Forced to pull Genichi's arm dangling. Ha 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 ha. Bon voyage. Seeing Miss Jo who is still funny after parting. Ah Jian and the others also laughed. In such a team, Ah Jian and others are also relieved. And everyone in the live broadcast room saw this scene although the scene of Nami stealing the wallet was missing. But the same warmth makes people feel more comfortable. Just when everyone was about to continue watching the three of them sail. A bullet screen made everyone in the live broadcast room react instantly. 
By the way, didn't you realize that there was an important supporting role missing? The dragon pirates are all destroyed. Will Colonel Mouse of the 16 branches let Kokoja village go? Single quote. That's right, the mouse hasn't come out yet. Single quote. The dragon pirates are gone, and his tools to make money are gone, and Kokoja village is expected to be retaliated against. Single quote. That's right, I guess Colonel Mouse will count all the money he didn't receive into these villages. Sister Joe, when you see the barrage, you must kill this Colonel Mouse. Single quote. Sister Joe, look at the barrage. Single quote. For a while, everyone went crazy and started to swipe barrage. Soon the movement in the live broadcast room caught Sister Joe's attention. Look at the reminder in the live room. Sister Joe reacted immediately. One piece has been on the air for too long, causing Miss Joe to forget some plots. Almost forgot about Colonel Mouse. Thinking that this guy might take revenge on these villages, Sister Joe hurriedly said to Nami, Nami, do you know where the Marine 16 branch is? Huh. You know, it's just south of Kokosha village, what's wrong? Looking at the startled Sister Joe. Nami looked puzzled at this time. Why did you ask about the Marine branch when you just went to see? At this time, Sister Joe hurriedly directed Genichi to adjust the course. Genichi, adjust the direction. We're going to the Marine 16 branch, there's something we have to deal with. Otherwise Kokoja village will be in danger. I heard what Miss Joe said. Nami on the side couldn't help but turn pale with shock. Why are the dragon pirates destroyed? Kokoja village is still in danger. Soon Nami got the reason from Sister Joe. It turns out that there has been no Marine here to rescue. It's all because of the collusion between Marine Branch Colonel Mouse and Arlong. As a result, there is no way to pass the news here. Marine doesn't even know that the Dragon Pirates are doing harm to East Blue. Not to mention the 20 or so villages under the rule. Heard the news. Nami gritted his teeth with hatred for Colonel Mouse. Because of this guy. As a result, an unknown number of people died under the rule of the Dragon Pirates. How many people were killed because they couldn't afford to buy their own lives every month? Nami, who was happy to go to sea, was instantly covered with frost. Colonel Mouse is a complete death sentence. Soon Genichi adjusted the course and set off in the direction of the Marine 16 branch under the guidance of Nami. The other side. Inside the Marine 16 branch. My lord, this is the number of this month. Zizizi, not bad, not bad, now it's just short of Arlong's side. Looking at Bailey who was collected by his men. At this time, Colonel Mouse was intoxicated by the smell of Bailey's copper. These Baileys are all his. Over the years since Colonel Mouse and Arlong ganged up, not only the Dragon Pirates. East Blue and some pirates are working with mice. This kind of thing is like Pandora's box, once you open it, it's out of control. So after tasting the sweetness. Colonel Mouse is also taking advantage of his position to constantly seek cooperation. But the most satisfying mouse is the Dragon Pirates. The monthly money paid every month is also the most. Thinking of this, the Philistine face of Colonel Mouse couldn't help thinking for a moment, then dialed Arlong's phone bug. Blue, blue, blue. Blue, blue, blue. I saw the phone bug in front of the mouse kept ringing. But it's been a while since anyone answered. This made the mouse unhappy. What the hell is this Arlong doing? This month's monthly money has not been delivered yet. Seeing the phone bug can't get through. The mouse is also upset. Looking at Bailey who was just collected on the table, he lost interest. That's not enough for Bailey. Among the partners I work with, the dragon pirates are the big ones. Notice to go on, prepare the warship. Must go to Kokoja village to see what this Arlong is up to. Soon at the command of the mouse, the marines under his command began to prepare the warships for sailing. The entire marine 16 branch can be said to be a Colonel Mouse's paradise. The marines here are also the same breed. Just as the warship was getting ready, a sailboat is fast approaching marine 16 branch. Genichi also has little feeling for marine. Now Genichi just wants to continue to practice his proficiency. Activate the second template early. Fortunately, daily proficiency tasks will continue to increase. And stay by Sister Joe's side, the system will release tasks from time to time. So Genichi is having fun too. As for what 16 branches. 
It doesn't matter if it's a marine or a pirate, just chop it up. And what Genichi doesn't know is that, at this time, Sister Joe and Nami have already set their minds on themselves. Yeah, that's it, I'll just leave it to Genichi after I go. The two of us are waiting for him on the boat. No, no, since this mouse is so greedy, there must be a lot of Baileys in the branch. Let's go get the ill-gotten gains. I saw the two conspiring loudly in front of Genichi. Genichi, who was concentrating on sailing, got a black line. Facing Genichi's gloomy gaze, Sister Joe and Nami couldn't help smiling. But as two beautiful girls, how can such a thing as killing people make the two of them to it? Only Genichi is now on board. It's been hard work, I can only get rid of you. Looking at the two adoring eyes. What else can Genichi do? At this time, the sea fans in the live broadcast room also started to complain. Hey guy, are you treating me, Genichi-sama, as free labor? Single quote. Migrant workers have the spirit of working, and all migrant workers are the best. Single quote. Sister Joe, a black-hearted boss, tricked people into working for her when she arrived in Pirate World. Single quote. Leave everything to Genichi. Single quote. It's too hard, Sister Joe, hurry up and recruit some combat power, otherwise everything will be done by Genichi, and there will be no face at all. Single quote. Seeing from going out to sea to now. Everything is solved by Genichi. A group of female fans in this terrible live broadcast room feel distressed. They all cursed Sister Joe as a bad woman. But who made Sister Joe's pirate group only have Genichi as a combat power? Not even a pirate ship and a pirate flag. It's just a trio. It's a disgrace for such a gang to roam the sea. Watching the live broadcast room constantly scolding myself. Sister Joe's pretty face turned red even more. Instantly scolded Sister Joe to the red temperature. Everything is difficult at the beginning. Genichi is the vice captain, so naturally he has to take on more responsibility. It will be fine when the crew grows stronger in the future. While talking, Sister Joe found that she was getting more and more emboldened. Who knows how many people can be recruited after this. Moreover, when recruiting crew, Genichi also relies on. Thinking of this, Sister Joe suddenly realized that. I'm lucky as a cheap captain. Start with a Genichi, and the Genichi will do the rest. But it's not bad. Seeing that the live broadcast room was still scolding herself, at this moment, Sister Joe suddenly became elated. You guys are just jealous. It's my charm to be able to recruit Genichi. Anyway, I'm the captain. I'm mad at you. Just when Sister Joe interacted with the live broadcast room, Nami on the side looked at Sister Joe very curiously. Seeing this, Sister Joe pulled Nami over and introduced her to Nami. This thing is a device in my hometown, and it can communicate with friends remotely. Like, like a phone bug. And it's interactive. Nami, say hello. After Sister Joe explained, Nami also waved to the studio with a curious face, how are you guys? Watch live Nami greet them. The whole broadcast room instantly boiled. Ah 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 ah. Hello Nami. Single quote. Okay, hey, my Nami, hey, my Nami. Single quote. Nami wife look here. Single quote. Nami wife, you are so beautiful. Mine mine. Single quote. Looking at the crazy confessions on the barrage. Where did Nami get such a, warm, welcome? Especially after seeing those words in the live broadcast room, Nami carefully glanced at Genichi in the distance. Relieved to find Genichi wasn't looking this way. But how can these small actions be hidden from the group of guys in the live broadcast room? At this moment, it seems that everyone has heard the sound of heartbreak. Woo 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 woo. My Nami has her own heart. Single quote. Small actions hurt so much. Single quote. Genichi, an old dog, possessed Sister Joe and even captured Nami's heart. Single quote. I cannot be reconciled. Single quote. My Nami, Genichi old dog, I will fight you. Single quote. Upstairs are you sure you can beat Genichi? Single quote. I'm heartbroken. Single quote. Just Nami's little move. Anyone with a discerning eye can tell that Nami has long been tempted by Genichi. For a moment, it seems that everyone's youth is gone. But except for the water friends in the live broadcast room who broke the defense. Sister Joe standing next to Nami also broke her defense at this moment. Good guy. 
After a long time, I recruited a rival in love on my boat. Looking at Nami's eyes, Sister Joe immediately became vigilant. I knew Genichi earlier than Nami. And he's his captain. Thinking of this, Sister Joe hurriedly pulled Nami over. The two of you are flirting here, I really think my mother doesn't exist. I saw Miss Joe's actions. There was joy in the live broadcast room. It's the first time I see Sister Joe so pleasing to the eye. Single quote. Well done, Miss Joe. Single quote. Actually, Sister Joe is quite beautiful sometimes. Single quote. You can rush. Single quote. Sister Joe successfully stopped Nami from flirting with Genichi. A group of wolves in the live broadcast room also cheered. Nami is theirs. But seeing Nami coming back, I didn't dare to say any more exaggerated words in the live broadcast room. Afraid to scare Nami away again. Everyone carefully greeted Nami. I see the chat is normal. Nami is also the first time to see such a novel device. Soon it was silent in the interaction with the live broadcast room. At this time, the boat sailed by the three had arrived not far from the fortress of the Marine 16 branch. Looking at the marine fortress that gradually becomes clear in the distance. The three of Genichi made preparations in advance. Brothers. We're about to reach the marine fortress. Wait to see Genichi make Kamui big. East Blue's marine is no problem for Genichi. Seeing is about to arrive. Sister Joe also did not forget to brag crazily in the live broadcast room. Bragging as if talking about yourself. But today's Sister Joe has already become a prodigy. As long as it's my wife's crew, it's me. When I brag about my crew, I'm bragging about myself in disguise. Is there a problem? Seeing Miss Joe's shameless appearance. The sea fans in the live broadcast room couldn't bear to look directly. Now I don't even bother to complain. But for this upcoming marine fortress, everyone is full of interest. Is this the marine branch? Single quote. It's really different. Single quote. It's even more majestic than it looks in the anime. Single quote. Worthy of being called a fortress. Single quote. I saw the strong fortress, and the densely packed cannon muzzles all proved the fortification of this place. Compared with the warship docked at the port and the small broken boat of Sister Joe and the others. Simply incomparable. I'm afraid that a single charge of that warship can smash their boat to pieces. Hiss. Are we going to rush up like this? Will it be a little sloppy? Looking at the cannons placed on the fortress in the distance. The pitch black muzzle seems to have locked them in. Sister Joe couldn't help shrinking her neck. The little wreck under their feet can't hold up to a few shots. I'm afraid they'll be killed if a single shot falls. Before Miss Joe and the others approached the fortress. The marine in the fortress has already discovered the three people at sea. Quickly report to the colonel. It's time to trade. Looking at the boat coming from a distance through the viewing glass. There is not even a logo on it, it should not be a pirate, nor a nobleman. Neither, that's their business. Soon the marine patrolling in the fort quickly called Colonel Mouse who was about to set off. Just when Colonel Mouse came to the fort, the adjutant at the side hurriedly handed over the observation mirror in his hand. Colonel, one man and two women should be able to sell for a good price. Especially those two women. Having said that, the adjutant could not help showing a look of greed on his face. Especially for those two women, they can often have fun before selling. That's a stunner. At this time, Colonel Mouse has no time to take care of these three people. You can just follow the rules. After finishing speaking, he threw the observation mirror in his hand to the adjutant and left the fortress in a swaggering manner. All the marines inside are also ready to go to Kokoja village at any time. Until Colonel Mouse arrives at the warship. The marine warship that has been docked at the fortress port slowly left the port. While Colonel Mouse was still wondering what the hell was going on with Arlong this month. Those wretched little eyes glanced away, but unexpectedly discovered that. The warship sailed in the opposite direction to that of the boat. The two are sailing head on. Looking at the three people on the boat. Colonel Mouse couldn't help but think of something. Go and bring me the cannon. Look at the boat below. Whoever hits the target will get 10% of the monthly money this time. Only obey the mouse. The cannons on the deck quickly aimed at the three sisters Joe in front. How can this boring sailing not have some fun? The mere money from selling three slaves is not enough to fill the teeth. 
But having fun is different. The joy it brings is long-lasting. Under the order of the mouse, the marines of these sixteen branches also fell into madness one after another. That's a tenth of a month's money, enough to eat and drink for a lifetime. Ha 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 ha, they are mine now. Look at me, colonel. Look at me. I saw one after another marines immediately calibrated the cannons in front of them. In an instant, pitch black cannonballs bombarded the three sisters in front of them. Huge cannonballs bombarded heavily on the sea surface on both sides of the boat. The violent explosion caused the boat to shake continuously on the sea. It missed. Keep going. Reload. Reload. Seeing a round miss. These marines are also hastily starting to load shells. For the monthly money, these marines also secretly began to compete. Countless shells hit the boat again. Base. Boom boom boom. Just when the shells bombarded the sky. I saw a flash of ice blue knife light. The cannonball in the sky was instantly cut in half. Before it even landed, it exploded in the air. The violent explosion seemed to set the whole sky on fire. Um. See this scene. Colonel Mouse couldn't help feeling a bad premonition. As the colonel of the marine branch, although the strength of the mouse is not very good. But to be able to achieve the position of colonel, some strong mice have seen a lot. Can instantly intercept so many shells in the air. There must be a swordsman on that boat. Thinking of this, the mouse couldn't help but change his face. What kind of level is he? The mouse is too clear in his heart. If I really offended a swordsman, I'm afraid I would have to confess here today. Hurry up. Give Lousy a stop. Turn quickly. Return to the fortress. Fast. Fast. I saw that as the order of the mouse was issued. The marines on the warship are still a little unclear, so. But in the 16th branch, Colonel Mouse's command is the highest. Those disobedient marines have long been executed by Colonel Mouse for various reasons. Now these marines can be said to be Colonel Mouse's family dogs. Facing the master's order, although he felt puzzled, he still started to execute it without hesitation. The huge marine warship immediately began to change course. As for the Genichi trio at this time, the cannonball just exploded in the air after being sliced open. The violent explosion brought up a cloud of smoke and dust. As a result, the entire boat was shrouded in it. Brush. With Genichi gently waving cans Masamune. A strong wind blows away the smoke and dust. It's really a swordsman. It's over. Ben has been paying attention to the mouse behind him. When seeing the smoke blowing away in an instant. A hanging heart completely fell to the bottom. The thing I was most worried about happened. Who would have thought that there would be a swordsman among those three guys? The mouse who was far away seems to have seen Genichi's indifferent eyes at this time. It's like looking at a dead person. The mouse who saw this scene was covered in cold sweat. Can't help swallowing saliva. But now is not the time for ink blots. Quick, quick, fast. Faster. Do you want to die? Hurry up. Let the defenders in the fortress attack. Boom them. We must stop them, or we will all die here. With the sudden change of the mouse's face. See how slow this broken warship is. In order to survive, the mouse hurriedly ordered the cannons of the fortress to start attacking. But this warship will not be able to completely turn around for a while. And inside the fortress. Received orders from the mouse. All the marines who stayed in the fortress gathered on the city defense. A city defense cannon was activated again. Boom. Boom. Just a loud bang. All the city defense guns sounded again. Countless shells once again covered the boat of Sister Joe and the three of them. With so many shells. Genichi has no time to wait. Guanxi Masamune waved again. The cannonballs that filled the sky, like all the previous ones, were all cut in half in the air. It's useless to stop Sister Joe and the three with shells. Oh, it's too late to run now. Genichi standing at the bow protects the boat. While rapidly approaching the marine warship turning around in the distance. Soon the small boat on the sea disappeared from everyone's sight. As if it never existed. Ha ha ha, Colonel, you must be worrying too much. Look, those three people were buried in the sea. So many shells are enough to blow up those three people to nothing. Looking at the calm sea. Only then did the mouse's confidant heave a sigh of relief, and stepped forward to comfort his master. But at this time the mouse did not relax at all. Seeing that the three of Genichi are gone on the sea. Instead of relaxing, the mouse became more tense. 
Just when the mouse's marine warship just adjusted its course. When preparing to return to the branch fortress. Base. Just hear the crisp sound of the sword. Hear the voice. Colonel Mouse just stayed where he was. Not waiting for his reaction. A clearly visible crack suddenly appeared on the deck. Instantly. The huge marine warship was cut in half from the middle at this moment. Hiss. Boat. The boat was cut open. It's over. Help. Colonel. Looking at the warship that began to sink with a groan under my feet. The marines on the boat panicked for a moment. The mouse who is the colonel is even more at a loss at this time. Although the mouse knew that there was a swordsman among the three just now. But which swordsman can cut the marine warship in half in an instant? This kind of strength makes the mouse want to cry without tears. You are so powerful, you go to the Grand Line, go to the New World. What's the point of living in the backcountry of East Blue? Soon the marines on the ship fell into the sea one by one. Some with good water quality can survive in the sea, and some directly sank into the deep sea together with the warship. Help. Help. I can't swim. Who can help me? Seeing the warship sinking rapidly. It's Colonel Mouse's turn soon. At this time, the mouse was also anxious, and hurriedly shouted frantically. But now the other marines are too busy to take care of themselves, how could they come back to save him? Seeing that no one takes care of me. Colonel Mouse jumped into the sea in a panic. I thought I was going to die in the sea. As a result, Colonel Mouse kept struggling but found that he didn't seem to have fallen into the sea. The frightened Colonel Mouse couldn't help but slowly opened his eyes. At this time, Colonel Mouse was caught by Genichi from the air. I am still struggling in the hands of Genichi. H-M-P-H, rat. Genichi just get rid of him. It's useless to keep it. Looking at Colonel Marine with a mouse face in front of him. Sister Joe and Nami both looked disgusted. Such a guy, living as a waste of air. At this time, the live broadcast room did not expect. Except that Genichi's strength is still terrifying. This mouse is so weak as Colonel Marine. How did this fellow become a colonel, dude? Single quote. It doesn't feel as good as King Axe Monka. Single quote. Is this the colonel? A fertile mouse. By the way, this guy is already a colonel, so he should know some Marine Six styles, right? Single quote. That's right, Sister Joe quickly asked Marine Six styles how to practice. This is a superhuman skill. Single quote. I don't know who mentioned it in the live broadcast room. All the sea fans waiting in the live broadcast room have their eyes brightened. Yes, with the training method of Marine Six styles. Maybe they can also practice in this world. For a while, everyone excitedly launched a barrage. Everyone stared nervously at the studio. Seeing this, Sister Joe hurriedly stopped Genichi who was about to make a move. Seeing the Colonel Mouse who was almost scared to death, Sister Joe said slowly, Mouse, you are a Colonel Marine after all. You should have the training method of Marine Six styles. Hand over the cultivation method and I promise not to kill you. I just follow Sister Joe's words. Everyone in the live broadcast room stared nervously at the mouse in front of them. I heard that Sister Joe wanted the six style practice method. This makes the mouse very happy. As long as there is a request, it means that some people talk about it. Yes, yes, yes. My lord, I have it. As long as you don't kill me, I will immediately hand over the six style cultivation method. Now on board except for Genichi. Sister Joe and Nami have no power to protect themselves. It would be great if you can practice the six forms. Sister Joe couldn't help but nodded to Genichi who was on the side. The latter directly retracted Guanchi Masamune into the sheath. After seeing Genichi put away the knife, the mouse also let out a long sigh of relief. Facing Sister Joe, the three of them suddenly took out a notebook from their arms with a smile on their faces. Hey hey, these six poses are too tiring for me to practice and not suitable for me. So I have never practiced, but I am very careful to keep the manuscript. It is absolutely complete. After saying that, he handed over the letter. Looking at the handbook recording Marine Six Styles. Sister Joe hurriedly looked through. By the way, he raised the letter and shook it at the camera. Brothers, Marine Six Styles is here, let's see if it's real or not. Don't say I don't miss my brothers. Show it to the brothers first. Following Miss Joe's actions. The handbook also appeared in the live broadcast room. 
At this moment, the live broadcast room is completely boiling. At this moment, everyone picked up the tools they had prepared. This is Marine 6 Styles. Superhuman skills in the world of One Piece, moves that can be learned as long as you work hard. Sister Joe is my family. Single quote. This is comparable to reborn parents. Single quote. When I become a Superman, everyone here will count as one, and all of you will get down on the ground. Single quote. TCH, it's as if you can practice and we can't. Single quote. There was even more noise in the live broadcast room. And some institutions can't sit still now. If this kind of thing is obtained by ordinary people, the whole society will have to be messed up. And the little days. At this moment, Shuish's top management also prepared a room full of cameras. Just waiting to record all the content in the handbook. But Oda, who was sitting on the side, seemed hesitant to speak. Noticed Oda's appearance. All the senior executives were puzzled and said, what's wrong with Oda-sensei? Could it be that you are not interested in superhuman skills? In the face of high-level inquiries. At this time, Oda looked towards the live broadcast room with a gloomy gaze. You guys should watch the live broadcast first and then talk. I heard what Oda said. Everyone hastily turned their heads to look. I saw that in the live broadcast screen, the letter that Sister Joe held up was full of garbled characters. Don't talk about the training method of Marine Six Styles. Is not even a recognizable character. Everyone who saw this scene was instantly dumbfounded. Cooperating with myself and others to prepare for a long time to prepare for loneliness. I go. Why is it garbled? Single quote. Why can't I see the content? Single quote. Why is that? Single quote. My dream of becoming Superman has been shattered. Woo 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 woo. Single quote. Seeing that the content of the handbook seems to be blocked by some rules and cannot be displayed. All the C fans in the live broadcast room suddenly cried out. It's like another very, very delicious cake. Just when you are about to eat it, you suddenly realize that it is made of stone. Look at the Marine 6 style so close. Now everyone can't see anything. Everyone is completely powerless. I feel like my body is being hollowed out. Tired, destroy it. Woo. For a moment, the barrage in the live broadcast room seemed like a bottle of vinegar had been knocked over. Intense lemon flavor hits the face. Sister Joe, who glanced at the live broadcast room, couldn't help but bewildered. What's the situation? You can't see the content. Looking at the very detailed handwriting clearly recorded in his hand. Miss Joe couldn't help being puzzled. But I think it might be blocked by some rules. But it's still not sure if it's true or not. Seeing this, Sister Joe hurriedly handed the letter to Genichi next to her. Today's Genichi has activated Mahawk's template, and the power system of One Piece World is naturally very clear. And also received Koshiro's two years of teaching at the Ishin Gym. After taking the letter and just glanced at it, Genichi nodded to Sister Joe. Everything here is true. It is indeed a training manual of Marine Six styles. With Genichi's affirmation. Sister Joe is naturally very happy. With the help of this letter in the future, I and Nami can also have the power to protect themselves. Just when Sister Joe and Nami were flipping through the handbook happily. The Colonel Mouse on the boat said cautiously at this moment, Woman, I will hand over the letter you just mentioned to you, and let me go. Look, are you going to let me go? Heard the words of the mouse. Looking at the extremely wretched Colonel Marine in front of him. Sister Joe and Nami couldn't help but look at each other. The playful look in each other's eyes is reflected in the eyes. Of course, talking counts, the two of us let you go. You can leave now. With the permission of Sister Joe. The mouse was overjoyed. I didn't expect that the six style handwriting that I haven't practiced can save my life. It's a good thing I didn't throw this thing away. As for the responsibility for spreading the six forms. I don't care about my mouse, I don't know how to spread the six styles myself. After the mouse kept thanking him, he turned around and jumped towards the lifeboat of the warship in the distance. I'm afraid that Sister Joe and the two will change their minds temporarily. But the mouse didn't notice. Sister Joe just answered that she and Nami agreed to let him go. Instead of three people, I leave it to you, Genichi. Please, please. Looking at the Sly Joe sisters in front of them. Genichi also looked helplessly at the mouse that had just climbed into the lifeboat. At this time there are two marines on the lifeboat. 
see Colonel Mouse come back alive. The two of them didn't dare to be negligent, and hurriedly waited for Colonel Mouse to climb into the lifeboat. Quickly, let Lousy secretly take a picture of those three people. If you dare to offend me, you must arrest them. I can't deal with it, of course there are people in Marine who can deal with you. Just when the mouse quickly ordered to go down. Turning his eyes away, he suddenly found that the swordsman named Genichi was staring at him. Being stared at by such a powerful and terrifying guy. The mouse turned pale with fright, and quickly lay down in the cabin. The face that was originally like a mouse looks more and more like it now. Look, is that guy still staring at this side? After a while, nothing happened. The mouse couldn't help asking the two subordinates beside him. The two quickly shook their heads upon hearing this. Seeing this, the mouse quickly got up. At this time, the three of Genichi had already passed towards the branch fortress. Thinking that the baileys I kept in the branch might all be raided. Colonel Mouse was suddenly unwilling. My money. No, you must ask for support. That's what I survived after so many years of hard work. Wait until I retire enough to allow myself to live in luxury. Colonel, that person seemed to have swung a sword towards us when he left just now. Huh, swing a sword. Hearing reports from two subordinates. A bad premonition rose in the mouse's heart. Not good. Single quote. Before the mouse reacts, an ice blue slash instantly appeared in front of his eyes. Facing this sudden attack, Colonel Mouse's pupils suddenly shrank. But there was no way to dodge the slash that was so close at hand. Thinking of what Sister Joe said just now. At this time, Colonel Mouse's heart was full of cordial greetings to the two of them. Woman. How dare you lie to me. Do not. With Genichi's slash, it flashes across in an instant. Colonel Mouse's lifeboat disappeared into the sea. Only the wreckage of the warship remains on the calm sea, proving what just happened here. And the Genichi three have come to the 16th branch. As for the marine staying in the branch. With Genichi, there is no need to care about this kind of problem. Genichi, come here. This Colonel Mouse is really a bad puss. Hearing the shouts of Sister Joe. Genichi hurried over. I saw the basement of the Marine 16 branch at this time. The dense cages here are full of young girls. At this time, Sister Joe and Nami are opening these cages one by one with ashen faces. Look at these captured girls. A few Nami also recognized that they belonged to several villages around Kokoja village. Didn't expect to be caught here. Thanks, thanks. Wu we thought we were going to be sold out. Thank you so much. With all being let out. The captured girls burst into tears one by one. Can imagine what kind of life these girls lived when they were arrested. If they don't come, what fate will they face? There is a ship at the port outside the branch, everyone get out of here. Go home. With everyone's thanks. The girls imprisoned here went to the port and fled here in small boats. As for the three remaining Genichi. A sly smile suddenly appeared on Nami's face. With years of experience. After Nami came in for a while, he successfully found the place where the mouse hid the treasure. Led by Nami. The three soon arrived at the treasure room. Looking at the bailey in front of a room full of gold and jewelry. The wealth here is enough to cover a weak country. Hiss. There are so many. Good guy, this stinky mouse is so greedy. I know that the mouse is greedy. Who would have thought that this guy would be so greedy? How much money can be made in a few years? Unbelievable. And everyone in the live broadcast was also shocked by the mouse. Zuzuzu, this is definitely a good hand at making money. Single quote. And this guy can be promoted to a colonel, and he still has a certain ability. While letting the pirates suppress the village, he controls the marine branch and prevents these people from complaining to marine. Single quote. After coming and going, his 16 branches are naturally a prosperous scene of Guotai Manan. Looking at the big guy's analysis, it's frightening to think about it carefully. Single quote. For a while, there was a crazy discussion about this guy in the live broadcast room. Anyway. This guy is still very talented and greedy for money. But now all these things belong to Sister Joe and the three of them. Get rich, get rich. Ahahaha. These baileys are enough to build a luxurious and big pirate ship. Look at the money. Nami's eyes turned into baileys at this moment. As we all know, Nami has three hobbies. Money. Tangarinar. Windmill. So much money. 
From Nami's point of view, it's like reaching heaven. But don't stay here for long. Soon the three of them looted all the treasures here. The three who returned with a full load set off again. Help Nami get rid of Colonel Mouse, and there should be no more danger in Kokoja village. Just when the three of them left, the phone bug in the Marine 16 branch kept ringing. But today's Marine 16 branch has become a ghost town. There is a figure in the whole human fortress. The empty fort keeps ringing with the phone bug. Blue, blue, blue. Blue, blue, blue. Inside the town of East Blue Rog. Colonel Smoker, still can't get through. Tashigi's complexion is not good after looking at Smoker. Hastily and cautiously asked. There's no point in waiting any longer. Smoker hung up the phone directly. Spit out a mouthful of smoke. What an idiot. I can't help it, the news can't be delivered, so I can only send someone there. Smoker doesn't think much of Marine's 16th branch. Especially the mouse guy. It's incredible to be able to be a colonel. But today, the entire 16 branches didn't even answer the phone call bug. Simply lawless. Tashigi, take a team to branch 16. If you have any questions, please contact me at any time, and I will rush over immediately. Got it. Colonel Smoker. After receiving the order, Tashigi quickly led a team to set off. And Smoker looked at Tashigi who left, and looked away after a while. As for what's wrong with the idiots in Branch 16, Smoker doesn't give a fool. Watch the addition of new faces to the town of Rog. A cruel smile appeared on Smoker's face at this time. Pirates, this is your end point. As a smoke fruit ability user, Smoker's ability is simply a dimensionality reduction blow in the weakest East Blue. The fruit of Logia has no existence that can compete with East Blue at this stage. Soon Smoker was driving a cool motorcycle through the streets of Rog. As long as the pirates stay in Rog Town, Smoker won't let go. Run. It's the White Hunter. Why is it so fast this time? Let's go. Don't stay in Rog Town, if you stay any longer, we won't be able to leave. Watching Smoker fight in Rog Town. These East Blue Weak Chicken Pirates dare to stay there. Flying one after another as if wanting to escape back to the pirate ship. But when these pirates rushed to the beach, they found. My own pirate ship is full of marines. The partners who stayed on the ship have already been controlled. HMPH, I told you, none of you can escape. Get ready to go to jail and repent. I don't know when, Smoker has appeared behind. Facing the famous White Hunter. These pirates have no power to fight back. Without hockey, facing Logia Demon Fruit power is pure courtship. Soon all the pirates in Rog Town were captured and brought to justice. Colonel Smoker, the speed is much faster this time. Yes, yes, indeed, Colonel Smoker. These pirates have nothing to do but run to the sea. With all the pirates escorted back. A group of marines also clustered Smoker together. Compliment to all. Smoker doesn't think so at all. This is just the weakest East Blue. A group of low-level pirates are meaningless at all. Call the team. Get Smoker's order. A group of marines returned to the marine branch with these pirates. Watch the town of Rog Kam again. As the hometown and execution place of the One Piece King Luo Jia. This place has been regarded as a holy place by countless pirates. As long as you are a pirate who goes out to sea, you want to come here to see the place where Luo Jia was executed. After all, that is the famous One Piece, the guy who started the Age of Great Voyage by himself. Looking at the town of Rog in front of him, Smoker couldn't help but fell into deep thought. As the days go by, outside the abandoned Marine 16 branch, a warship slowly docked towards the port. It was Tashigi and his party who came from Rog Town. Seeing that there is not even a Marine stationed in front of him. Tashigi couldn't help but his face changed, and rushed into the branch fortress with a team of people. Quick. Special event. Contact Colonel Smoker ASAP. Special event. Must contact Colonel Smoker ASAP. Now the entire Marine 16 branch is empty. And there are obvious signs of attack. Such a bad thing can happen to the weakest East Blue. It's not a small thing. Quick. Others keep looking. See if there are any survivors. Under the command of Tashigi. A team of Marines quickly spread out and searched the 16 branch fortresses. And Tashigi dialed Smoker's phone bug with a livid face. Blue, blue, blue. Blue, blue, blue. What happened to Tashigi? 
Dial with the phone bug. Smoker's voice came out. And Tashigi hurriedly reported the situation of the 16 branches. Hear Tashigi. Smoker, who was still in the office, instantly turned into a puff of smoke and rushed out of the room. How could this happen? Wait for me, I'll be right there. After saying that, Smoker stepped directly onto his motorcycle. Watching Smoker make a sudden move. Although the Marines didn't know what happened, they gathered together as quickly as possible. Everyone go to branch 16 quickly. Immediately. After saying that, Smoker slammed the accelerator and rushed out. At the same time, the fruit ability is quickly activated. The motorcycle is also accelerating at the fastest speed. On the way to the Marine 16 branch. Smoker also reported the situation of the 16 branches. Soon the information was passed to Marshal Sengoku of Naval Headquarters. East Blue. Why does this happen to East Blue? After a quick glance at the information, Sengoku couldn't help being stunned. As the weakest East Blue. Even the dragon with the highest bounty now is just a piece of trash lingering after being rescued by Jinbei. An unaggressive dragon huddled in the East Blue wouldn't do such a thing. Except these guys. Sengoku really can't think of anyone who has the ability to silently attack a marine branch, and make no news come out. And those monsters from the new world don't usually go to the East Blue. For this matter, Sengoku couldn't help paying attention. After all, a weak East Blue can come out with a guy who destroys the marine branch. Strength must not be underestimated. Garp. Go back to East Blue support. When it's over, you can go back and see your grandson. Thinking of this, Sengoku hastily yelled at Garp in the office. Garp, who came to ask for leave to go home. Hearing Sengoku's words, he grinned and nodded in agreement. Able to return to East Blue to perform missions. By the way, you can go back to see your good grandson. This is a good job. Soon Garp departs from naval headquarters. And is the initiator of all this. The three of Genichi are floating leisurely above the sea. Shuyi, do you understand? Why haven't I seen you talking for a long time? Looking at the silent sister Joe. Nami couldn't help but look worried. At sea these days. Sister Joe is studying the handbook of Marine Six styles with great interest. I watched it for a few days. Sister Joe was stunned and didn't understand everything. Not to mention starting to learn, but now I haven't remembered what I said in each style. Ah 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 ah. I'm really not the stuff to study. This letter is aimed at me. It's so difficult, how can I learn it? Faced with Nami's concern, the originally silent sister Joe fell into a frenzy. I originally thought that with the cultivation method, it should be easy to cultivate. As a result, I watched it for a few days, and it didn't work at all. Looking at the distraught sister Joe, Nami on the side suppressed a smile and stepped forward to comfort him. As for the live broadcast room, seeing sister Joe who broke the defense. Only then did everyone realize how difficult it is to learn Marine Six styles. Z, as expected of the superhuman skill of Pirate World. I can't read the manuscript even if I have it, it seems really difficult. In other words, instead of learning Marine Six styles, the fastest way to improve strength isn't eating a devil fruit. Single quote. Devil fruit must be simple and fast. Single quote. East Blue seems to have a slippery fruit, which can not only become beautiful, but also slide away attacks. Single quote. The location should be on the small island around Shields Town. Single quote. Soon a group of senior C fans in the live broadcast room quickly analyzed the location of the slippery fruit. In the direction that Luffy flew Alvita at that time. And Luffy's strength, absolutely can't blast far. And there was a small island in the distance in the picture at that time. There are still three years before Luffy goes to sea, and the slippery fruit must still be on that island. Looking at the reminders from the big guys in the live broadcast room. Sister Joe couldn't help but shine. The fruit that can turn Alvita's big fat woman into a big beauty. Moreover, as the fruit of Paramesha, other different abilities will definitely be developed. Nami, do you know devil fruit? Huh, of course I know. Seeing Sister Joe suddenly asked. Nami couldn't help being taken aback for a moment, regarding this question from Sister Joe. Nami, who has been in the Dragon Pirates for many years, is too clear. That's the secret treasure of the sea, a legendary item. I heard that you can get magical powers after eating it. 
The most important thing is that one devil fruit is worth more than 200 million berry. Even so, there is no market for the price, and there are very few devil fruits for sale. I've been in the Dragon Pirates for so many years, and I've only heard about it. After all, Nami couldn't help looking at Sister Joe curiously. At this time, Sister Joe smiled mysteriously. Quickly use the shock value shop to buy a sailing guide for Shields Town. Let's go here. There's a devil fruit nearby. Follow Miss Joe. Nami's eyes on the side have instantly turned into money. No doubt about him. Nami hurriedly took over the navigation pointer and began to direct Genichi to adjust the course. That's a full 200 million berry. Thinking of this, Nami is full of energy. They are determined to get this devil fruit. At the same time when Sister Joe and the three adjusted their course and prepared to find the slippery fruit. Inside the Marine 16 branch. Colonel Smoker. Colonel Smoker. With a roar. The smoker from ROG has arrived here. Looking at the 16 branches that are already empty. Smoker's face suddenly became a little ugly. Although I really despise that mouse guy. But after all it is also a Marine. I didn't expect that the entire 16 branches would be attacked. Investigate first. Find out who did it. Vice Admiral Garp is on the way, get ready. Say it with Smoker. The Marines in Rog Town began to search for clues bit by bit. Time passed. The clues to the destruction of the 16 branches were not found. Instead, in front of Smoker, there are a bunch of ledgers hidden by mice. There are also countless lists of resold slaves. Look at these things in front of you. Smoker fell silent for a moment. But the throbbing veins on his forehead all show Smoker's angry heart at this time. These are all found from the mouse office. Yes Colonel Smoker. Looking at Smoker, who is cloudy and sunny at the moment. Tashigi nodded hastily. At this time, Smoker wants to withdraw directly. Facing these ledgers, lists. Smoker doesn't know how to deal with the civilians who trust Marine. I never found out. Everyone is kept in the dark by Colonel Mouse. Hee <laughs> hee. Pick up this book. The numbers inside made Smoker sneer. Such a Marine borer didn't even notice. Over the years, I don't know how many people have been trafficked. And the monthly money collected. The names of the villages are clearly written inside. That is to say, without exception, all the villages in the surrounding area have suffered from long-term oppression. The current smoker no longer wants to pursue the disappearance of the Marine 16 branch. It's about verifying whether the rumors are true. Everyone. Set off immediately and go to the surrounding villages to investigate the situation. Report everything you see, see, and hear without hiding anything. Depart immediately. With Smoker leading the team. Rog Town Marine divided into small teams and rushed towards the surrounding villages. But what they didn't expect was that. After they reached the village. All the villagers looked at them as if they saw a demon. Before they could ask any questions, all the villagers fled in all directions. See this scene. This made the self-proclaimed righteous marine stunned for a while and couldn't accept it. Waiting for someone to become a marine, isn't it because of the justice in my heart? But now this happened. The justice I insisted on caused these civilians to suffer such a big blow. The smoker on the other side happened to come to Kokoja village by accident. Smoker, who came to the village, looked at the thriving scene in front of him. I can't help but have doubts about the account books and lists. At this moment, people in the village also saw Smoker. There is Marine. It's Marine, what is Marine doing in the village? Looking at the coming Smoker, the villagers in Kokosha village couldn't help but wonder. But at the same time, for these late Marines, all the villagers don't have the slightest favor at all. Smoker also noticed the indifference and alienation in the villagers' eyes. As the security officer, Ajien stepped forward at this time. Smoker also hurried forward to ask. Although Ajien at this time also didn't have a good impression of these Marines. But he still told all the things that happened in Kokoja village these years. Is that so? Knowing that Kokoja village has been oppressed by the dragon pirates for several years. All the surrounding villages are exactly the same. And Marine has done nothing all these years. Heard the news. Smoker also looks guilty. Sorry. Looking at the scarred man in front of me. It is conceivable how much suffering has been suffered in order to protect the village these years. For a moment, 
all marines headed by Smoker bowed and apologized to Jian and the villagers of Kokosha village. This is their biggest failure ever for East Blue Marine. As for the destroyed dragon pirates, Smoker has vaguely guessed that the disappearance of the 16 branches may also be related to the people who destroyed the dragon pirates. But now Smoker doesn't want to bother with these things. Although Ajian did not mention the two sisters Zhou, there are some things, as long as you investigate carefully, it is still very easy for Marine's intelligence department. Soon Smoker and others returned to branch 16. And the teams that went out to other villages also came back one after another. But everyone who came back didn't look very good. There are some marines with rotten leaves hanging from their white military uniforms. It is conceivable how much damage the 16 branches have caused to these villages. It seems that the contents of these ledgers are all true. See what these guys look like. Smoker wants to know what's going on with his toes. Since everything is true. Then basically everyone in the 16 branches participated in it. These scumbags are all dead. Smoker doesn't want to stay here for a second. As for who will deal with the massacre of the 16 branches. Then don't care about his smoker, anyway, these ledgers are enough. With Smoker leading the team away. Tashigi suddenly reported an important news. Colonel Smoker, there is a girl who escaped from Nono village. From her mouth, I learned that it was three people who saved them, and many girls were imprisoned at that time. There are two women and one man together, the captain is a very beautiful woman, and there is a very powerful swordsman. Hearing Tashigi's report, Smoker couldn't help but flash a bright light in his eyes. Two women and one man. It must have just left the sea. Thinking of this, Smoker suddenly became interested. Although Smoker has sentenced Colonel Mouse to death. But Marine has Marine discipline. Then return to Rog Town as soon as possible. That's the entrance to the Grand Line. Since they're out to sea, they will definitely come to Rog Town. Where are we waiting for them? After all, the people under his command returned to the town of Rog. Meanwhile, East Blue is on its way to Shields. It's almost there. Brothers, do you want to eat this slippery fruit? I feel like it's miserable to eat landlubbers. Sister Joe on the boat was happily discussing with the water friends in the live broadcast room. But hearing Miss Joe's doubts. The water friends in the live broadcast room did not give face at all. Hey guy, it sounds like you're good at swimming. So you're good at swimming. Single quote. I am a landlubber, does it matter whether I can swim or not? Single quote. If you can find a devil fruit to eat, you can enjoy it secretly. Single quote. Watching the ridicule in the live broadcast room. Sister Joe suddenly blushed. What do you mean I can't swim? Ah. You are dogs. What do you mean if I can swim? As a person from Modu. Today I will show you what a mermaid is. Sister Joe jumped off the boat without hesitation after saying that. As soon as Sister Joe jumped down, she regretted it. This sea is different from the shallow sea on the Bund of Shanghai. Sister Joe, who had just entered the water, began to struggle instantly. Play for real. Single quote. Oh no, no, the sea must be different from ordinary swimming places. Single quote. This is miserable. Single quote. Genichi and Nami on the boat also saw the struggling Sister Joe. The two suddenly looked helpless. Good guy, you can't swim at all, you have to jump down. Sister Joe who was still struggling in the sea. Suddenly I felt myself being hugged. I saw that Genichi jumped down for some reason and rescued Sister Joe. Sister Joe, who was hugged by Genichi, blushed, and there was still the energy of bluffing just now. But as the two returned to the ship. Nami is still there, Sister Joe is too embarrassed to stay in Genichi's arms. Shuyi, are you okay? It's all right. Follow Nami to bring a towel to wipe Sister Joe's body. At this time, Sister Joe is still in a trance. My head is full of Genichi's arms. Passing boat episode. Soon the three of them arrived not far from Shields Town. Arrive. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.